Mid-Michigan Laker basketball is on the air. Hello, friends, and welcome to Maury Courts Recreation Center in Mount Pleasant. I'm Austin Chastain for Mac TV, bringing you Mac TV's presentation of MCCAA Northern Conference basketball as Bay College, the Norse, have made the long trip four and a half hours down to Mount Pleasant from Escanaba to take on your mid-Michigan College Lakers. Here in a Saturday matinee conference matchup. Women are set to go first. The Bay College women warming up on your left. They'll be in blue. The mid-Michigan women on your, on your right at the moment. They'll be in their traditional home whites. Austin Chastain alongside Nick Toner here on Mac TV. Nick, welcome back. Uh, you were out doing your big boy job on, on Wednesday when, when the Lakers swept Muskegon out of the building. Uh, how, how are things going, my friend? Yeah, no, I actually tuned in and watched the end of that women's game. That was a pretty impressive comeback that the ladies put down on Muskegon after trailing for, from what I watched, most of the second half they were down until the very end when they weren't. So huge win there for the ladies over Muskegon. Hopefully they can carry that energy here in today. 73-70 win last time out for Mid-Michigan. We'll, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, Bay College, uh, in chatting with, with head coach Matt Gregory, uh, said that there are quite a few injuries that the Norse are dealing with this afternoon and uh, rolling seven strong, as he said. So, uh, so lack of a bench is what he means. <laughs> right. So we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, we'll, so we'll step aside real quick for Mr. PA Man Scott, not Mr. PA Man Chris. It's Mr. PA Man Scott, who's uh, back after not doing this for a couple of years. So we'll step aside while he reads off his pregame introduction, the national anthem, and then we'll have the starting lineups and the tip coming up for you next. You're watching Laker basketball on Mac TV. Always a wonderful rendition of the national anthem. So 10, we'll Frappy. read along. Leah Allen, Stephanie Frappy, Alyssa, Alyssa, Alyssa Cretton, Alyssa Cretton Alyssa Emma Rudder, Cretton. and Tiana Taylor, the five 
the starting five for the Bay College Norse. And then it will be the usual suspects, Karlstrom, Visman, Griffin, Nelson, and Brower, the starting five for the Mid-Michigan Lakers. Mid-Michigan coming into this one 17-3 overall, 7-2 at home, and 6-0 in conference play. Looking back at some of the notable wins, the win over Oakland right before Christmas. A loss against Jackson right coming out of the break. The big win over Grand Rapids. That come and then a come from behind win on Wednesday over Muskegon. Some of the big notable wins for, for Mid Michigan. Winners out of ten out of its last twelve, and winners of its last two. Then conversely for Bay College, six and fourteen coming in. Four and one in conference play. So that's uh, Yeah, no so no slouch against the teams that they have to beat. <laughs> exactly. Started off with a, a bad loss against Kalamazoo Valley. Dominant win at College of Lake County. And then again, four conference wins already for the Norse. Winners of its last one, or when, you know, when, last time out against Kirtland, excuse me, 46 38, but had lost pre the three previous games. Kind of a beat them up kind of team, similar to Muskegon, but struggling a, a bit. Again, a bunch of injuries have really, really hindered. Uh, the Bay College Norse here in this sixth season of uh, yeah sixth season of basketball after it restarted and third under head coach Matt Gregory. With that, we are set to tip it off. It will be Satori Griffin against Leah. Nope, oh, excuse me, Satori Griffin against Alyssa Cretton, and we're underway here on Mac TV. Happy you could join us, and the Norse. We'll take the first possession. Now here's Leah Allen, and she kicks it to Stephanie Frappy. This is Cretton. Runner on the drive. 10 already on the shot clock. And a quick turnover. Nice steal there by Lex Karlstrom. And then a subsequent turnover. So now we're back to even. One turnover apiece, the Norse work it inside. Works it around and that is Emma Rudder to put the first points on the board. So the first real possession here for Mid-Michigan, almost a whole minute into this game and already down two to nothing. Griffin, corner three, just off. Yeah, wide open look there for Sorry Griffin. You don't want to leave those too, too open too many times, she'll start hitting them especially with how many shooters that Mid-Michigan has, it, even sitting on its bench. Three straight away, off and no good. That was Leah Allen on the attempt. And if there's one thing we've learned about Mid-Michigan is every player on that bench will be in this game at some point. Corner three for Griffin, too strong. Liv Nelson the rebound and it bounces away off her knee. So already two trips and Two missed three pointers for Mid Michigan. Here, a minute and a half into the ball game. A couple of trips already for the Norse. One bucket. And some offensive issues early. So here's Allen on the drive. She's fouled on the baseline. Looks like they're going to get to Tori Griffin. That's Olivia Nelson. Is no, they're going to get Liv foul. Nelson. And going to get a turnover here. Or do a slightly blocked, but that works out. Now here are the Lakers still without points. Lex Carlstrom on the right wing. Bailey Visman on the left wing. Stop, pivots, pulls up, and got it. Bailey Visman puts Mid Michigan on the scoreboard. Yeah, nice drive and score there by Visman to break down the defense, get that bucket. That's her, that's her favorite shot, the stop, pivot, and shoot from the 
little elbow. Norris working it around, and the three ball is blocked by Satori Griffin. Loose ball under in the lane. And we're going to get a dual possession, a jump ball, if you will, and the possession will go to mid-Michigan. Nice effort there by Lex Karlstrom and Brooke Brower to work their way in to that fracas and get the ball back for mid. This has been driving, trying to get it to Brower. I th <laughs> couldn't get it. The pass was deflected. Nelson from the short corner, no good. Yeah, I think her shot's partially blocked there by number one, Leah Allen. This one knocked away with Cretton on the ball, and it looks like we're getting a foul call against Lex Carlstrom. So Jade Coffin checks in here for Alexis Carlstrom. And Cooper Agama checks in for Satori Griffin. So uh, a couple, a couple of those those three point shooters that we were talking about, the sharp shooters here for this Mid Michigan roster, out on the floor now, wearing four and fourteen. Norris working it around, and she's going to travel. So that will go down as the third Bay College turnover here early in this ball game. Still tied at two, 6.42 to go, first quarter. Kaufman, three from the wing, got it! That's her spot right there. Either wing, left or right wing, you leave her open, she's gonna bang it. I guess just speak it into existence and it will happen. <laughs> I guess so. So the Norris now working a bit of a double screen here on the free throw line. And a shot goes up and she's fouled along the way. The foul will go against Brooke Brower. And this will send Alyssa Cretton to the free throw line. So Caitlin Walter and Terrera Moore step in for Visman and Brower. Cretton misses the first. 63% free throw shooter, averaging 14 points per game. She makes the second. Now she's on the board for the first time today. 5-3, just over six minutes. Kaufman, corner three, splash it! She says boom as she walks back. She runs back down the floor. Timeout, Bay College. That's another wide open look for Jade Kaufman. Can't leave her that wide open. Cannot leave that shot wide open. Uh, absolutely. So timeout, Bay College, 6.06 to go, mid-Michigan up 8-3. A couple of three-pointers from Jade Kaufman, uh, the difference. Uh, Nick, your thoughts and observations from this first, first four minutes? Yeah, the, the Norse defense has to stretch. They're two combined underneath in the paint, underneath the bucket, leaving these wide open three-point tries. Satori Griffin had two. She happened to miss both of those. That's unlucky. Then Jade Coffin comes in. She makes both of the two that she's seen. So that's four wide open threes we've already seen from Michigan. I can't help but wonder if the Norse are really keying in on the bigs, be it Terea Moore or Brooke Browers. The shot goes up and is good for Alyssa Cretton. So she just made the free throws a minute ago and then she puts her team back on the board and knocks it down to a one possession game. Here's Caitlin Walter, her first action. Cooper Agama now on the ball at the top of the key. The Norse bench trying to make some noise, cause some chaos. Kaufman for three, her shot's blocked. Leah Allen on the rebound along the way. Norris can tie it back up here. Allen to do so. Missed everything. So that will go out of bounds and stay down here with Mid-Michigan. Liv Nelson to the bench, Satori Griffin back in. 
Again, this is just a, an absolute melting pot. A anyone wearing the mid-Michigan uniform is going to see minutes. We say it every game. But Walter, three from the wing, rims out no good. Rebound to the Norse. Another wide open three point try for the Lakers here. So that really leads me to believe that Bay College is really focusing in, on shutting down the bigs while sacrificing the wide open three, which you cannot do against a, a high powered shooting team like this as another miss for the Norse goes back into the hands of Cooper Agama, one of those sharpshooters. Griffin, three from the wing, not enough. Rebound there by Emma Rudder. And there'll be a foul call. Looks like it's going to go against Terea Moore. Yeah, Terea just a little bit unlucky there. Gets caught with the reach. So she'll take a seat. And Brooke Brower will check back in for the Lakers. So that's four team fouls already against Mid-Michigan. Zero against Bay College. So here are the Norse once more. Allen from the elbow. No good. Agama another rebound. Agama works it in, baseline to Griffin, who got the bucket and the foul. Excellent find by Cooper Agama, and an excellent bucket by Satori Griffin. Yeah, great finish, able to draw in the contact, absorb it, and still make the play. Nice baseline cut by Satori Griffin. So the foul there against Tiana Taylor, her first team first. And the three-point play is no good. Brower rebound and a bucket. Yeah. Griffin, one of the better free throw shooters on the, on the roster as we're thinking about it. Shot from the elbow is up no good. Agama another rebound. This might be a career rebounding day for Cooper Agama. And another hard shot by Griffin in fighting through the contact. Couldn't get the whistle on the miss. Brower gets the, uh, the tie up. So it'll stay down here with Bay. That will send Taylor to the bench. And Cassidy Roll will check in for the first time. Cassidy Roll out of Hermansville, Michigan. 5'11 freshman forward. Wearing, again, wearing 22 in blue and green. Here's Alyssa Cretton. Back up to Allen. There's a roll and a steal by Cooper Agama. A lot of energy on the floor right now by Agama and she turns that one away, but that's all right. So both teams playing maybe just a touch too quick. And maybe a little sloppy as there's a, yet another steal. This one from Brooke Brower on the, on the mishandle. Griffin on the baseline. Bounce pass to Brower. Brower inside. Got it. Nice move. Knight. Excellent offense here by Mid Michigan once again. And we'll see some changes. And we're going to get a travel. So wholesale changes coming up here for Mid Michigan as Olivia Niederhood will check in for the first time along with Lex Carlstrom and Bailey Visman who check back into the game. Walter, Agama, and Kaufman are the ones who exit for now. So here's Bailey Visman, the leading scorer for Mid Michigan with 14.6 points per game. Carlstrom on the drive, right hand, up and good. Lex Carlstrom. Finds herself on the scoreboard for the first time. 16 to five, two and a half minutes to go. Mid-Michigan on top here in the first quarter. This is Frappy over to Rudder. Back to Cretton. Three ball is up and no good. That was Frappy on the attempt. Big time rebound by Brower there. Niederhood, three from the wing. Splash it! Olivia Niederhood with a huge three-pointer. That's the story of the game so far. Wide open Laker threes. Timeout, Bay College. Of the 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. The three-pointer, something Mid-Michigan lives and dies by. 
in games that they have to. And as we've seen, the the Norse are keying in on the big, so the Lakers have responded by keying in on, on the perimeter, and yeah, it's worked. The Lakers shooting probably about 50% or 500 from the three-point arc, I'd say. Satori Griffin's had a tough time from behind the arc. She's missed a few, and I think Coffin's made a pair. Niederhood's now made one, so yeah, they're... They're gonna shoot. They're gonna take the shot every time. If it's wide open, they're gonna take it. This is a team that shoots 32% from three-point line, so right around average for most college basketball teams, um, and 42% from the field. So you add that on, but um, yeah, in interesting. As we're back underway, and we're gonna get another traveling call against the Norse. This one against Cassidy Roll. So Agamo checks back in, Griffin to the bench. It looks like Emma Rudder might be favoring one of those ankles. Hopefully she's okay. Again, a short bench, Carlstrom for three from the wing. That one's off. It did graze the rim. But again, a short bench for, for the Bay College Norse. Hopefully we don't see any, any Further injuries, uh, looks like it's that, that right ankle, or right leg for Rudder. And we're gonna get a foul, looks like a foul on the floor. And it'll go against Bailey Visman. Good Michigan foul on number one, Bailey Visman, her first team fifth. That's so it will be two shots. Well, I guess it would have been two shots either way. So Alyssa Cretton to the free throw line. Makes the first. First one's up and good. Cretton again, 63% free throw shooter. Leading scorer on the team, 15.4 points per game. And she makes the second. So she's now three of four from the free throw line with five points to her name of the seven for her team. Three ball is just off for Niederhood. Rebound to roll. Stretch pass connects, but looks a little awkward here. And it's now here's Allen on the wing. This is Amaya Harris for the first time. Roll long to short. Carlstrom the rebound now on the break. Visman. One of the threes. Thought better of it. Here's Karlstrom for three, just off. Yeah, that three-point shot's there. It's, this is going to be a long day for Bay College. The Lakers start knocking them down a little more consistency. It, it a wild pass there. In for the North. I mean, it Wait. could be a long day anyway with having six down to six players at the moment. True. Nick, would you qualify that as a wild pass or a passed ball? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a wild pass. I would, I would think so. In any event, it's as a, a catcher, there's never a pass ball. There you go. <laughs> Here's Andy Raphael, whose first action, first action in the game is a miss. And here it is. Here the Norse once again, and a drop step, a foul, and a bucket. Tiana Taylor. So they're getting looking to pull this game within 10. Or it's 10 points now. Looking to pull it into single digits. We were just four seconds left in the quarter. And the shot's off. Right field, the rebound. Kaufman. An extra pass. She's walking back to the huddle saying, I, I, I thought there was more time. <laughs> so that is how the first quarter will come to an end. Mid-Michigan leading Bay College 19-9. We'll step aside for a brief moment. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV.
everyone, welcome back to Maury Court here in Mount Pleasant. Austin Chastain and Nick Toner with you here on Mac TV. Today's presentation of MCCA, MCCAA, Northern Conference Basketball, Mid Michigan in its traditional home whites. On the right side of your screen now, uh, working inside the Brower, a little triangle offense. That's something that we haven't seen. Vitzman, corner three, too strong. Leah Allen, the rebound. Bay College again in its road blue uniforms with green text. Pretty, pretty cool look. Cassidy roll along two, no good. Carlstrom the rebound. But good looking uniforms for Bay College. Maybe his hair hard to read with the green being pretty close to the blue. Good, true. Another three ball. Vishman for three. The, uh, the, the white trim around it makes definitely does help. I like the, the design on the side too. But anyway, Bay College in those cool <laughs> in those cool blue uniforms. And there's another steal here. This one by Brower off the deflection. Nelson, corner three. Didn't get it. Rebound, Visman. Work it in, Terea Moore. Her shot off, no good. That's a little unlucky for Terea Moore find the back of the iron there. Had a great look at the hoop. Well, I'll finally finished my point. Bay College working right to left across your soul. Out of bounds and will stay down here with Bay College. So Griffin to check back in. Carlstrom to have a seat. And Niederhood just took off. Hopefully she's all right. And a, a near deflection on the inbound pass. Nice defensive move by Satori Griffin. Nice defensive move here by Laura, Olivia Nelson. And no, uh, she uh, looks like maybe just two players going for the basketball. And we're going to get a foul here. And off. I want to know how Olivia Nelson wasn't fouled being tripped from behind. I, uh, I was. That's a straight yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> and then Soraya Moore traveled and then threw shoulder into one of the Norse, knocked her down. So either way, it goes down as a, as a mid-Michigan turnover where, quite frankly, it should have been a foul. I think most basketball fans would agree that it was a foul. Unless it's just two players going for a basketball, but I didn't see that. But. I'm still hung up on the trip that didn't get called. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, that's, that's where I'm at, too. And then Moore, with the attempted steal, is whistled for a reach. The Michigan foul number 20, Terea Moore, her second. So that's two against Terea Moore. First team foul. Twenty-two to nine, Mid Michigan lead. And a long two is up and good Alyssa for Alyssa Cretton. And we're gonna get another steal. Here's Leah Allen now. Pulling up, looking around. Now the Norris work, working the basketball again once more. And deflected by Griffin, stolen away by Brower. Nice defensive effort Here's there. Here's Visman. One of the three from the wing, but didn't take it. Spacing just a tad off there. Now Visman for three from the wing, just off. So now the North's trying to make this a, a single digit deficit here, if they can get a bucket. Down by 11, and deflected by Moore, disruption. Allen for three from the corner, no good. Liv Nelson the rebound. Griffin on the drive, didn't get it. Visman the rebound, she gets it. And we're gonna get a 30 second timeout. Looks like by Lance Maney. And that's exactly the case. So timeout mid Michigan, 30 second timeout. 6.51 to go, second quarter here at Maury Courts. Nick Toner, uh, some interesting I guess sloppiness here in that little stretch run. Well, yeah, the game pace has also picked up a little bit, too, so I wonder if the speed of the game is starting to draw out the sloppy plays, if you will. Yeah, I mean, this, is, this isn't this is something that we 
this isn't something we typically see from Mid Michigan, where you know they like to set up in the half court and run an offense. Right, they're they're quick. They can play in that transition game, but I think I think Bay is is doing some some solid disruption work on on the defensive end. So see if the Norse can keep that alive here as we work in the second quarter. Looks like number 20, Emma Rudder, is back on the floor, so her ankle injury must not have been too bad. Good to see her back. Cassidy roll now on the wing. And we're going to get a, an arm bar. No, it looks like a reach. This one on Satori Griffin. Returning to the Lakers, number four, Jade Kaufman. So Griffin will have a seat. Jade Kaufman checks back in. Shot is up, no good. And a bucket. For Tiana Taylor, her second bucket of the afternoon. And we're going to get an offensive foul. I think so that's she's gonna three get, against Terea Moore. And I think she's going to get called for an over to back on that rebound attempt. And a long drive. Maybe needed one more step. Was a less. Oh, Alyssa Cretton. Here's Caitlin Walter. Straight away, Jay. Brower just off. Rebound there to Taylor. Here's Cretton now driving right hand. Her shot goes up and in. A shot by Alyssa Cretton. So a foul against Kaitlyn Walter. I'd like to see a little more offense here out of Mid Michigan. I know they're up, but they're coming down. They're shooting so quickly in the shot clock that they're not really. I don't want to say salty the game away because it's only the second quarter, but you have time. Run your offense. You don't have to take the first three you get. It, exactly, unless it's that. Agama for three. That one's off. No good. And another quick possession. But I mean, when you have that wide open three, it. it oh, no question. They're not take bad it. to take it, but you're right. Maybe try to work the offense just a little bit more. As that one works inside was Taylor and Lance Come Maney out. wants to call another timeout. To try to time settle out. this thing down. Mid Michigan. Oh, excuse me, Bay College has this thing down to eight points, 24-16, 5.20 to go. We'll step aside for this full timeout. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV. Humane Animal Treatment Society is an animal adoption center that helps find animals forever homes and provide them with certain medical treatments. There are many ways you can help their cause. You can volunteer at HATS by running and reading with the animals, helping the staff with daily routines, and photographers can take pet pictures to boost their portfolio. There are still many animals looking for a forever home. See other ways you can make a difference at www.hadsweb.org. Welcome back to Maury Courts here in Mount Pleasant. Austin Chastain alongside Nick Toner on Mac TV as part of today's doubleheader between Mid Michigan and Bay College. Bay College, four and a half hours one way from Escanaba. It's a long bus ride. They got here at about 1130-ish, maybe 1145, somewhere about, around there. So that means they left Escanaba at about 7 o'clock this morning. Kaufman, three from the wing, splash it. That's three three-pointers for Jade Kaufman. She's got nine points. And the Mid-Michigan lead is restored to 11. Cretton for three, short, may have gotten deflected. Kaufman the board, Karlstrom leading the break, see if the Lakers now are starting to work that half court offense just a little bit more. Loose ball deflected, gotten back, nice play by Brower. Kaufman for three, splash it! Another three pointer for Jade Kaufman. 30 to 16 is the lead now for Mid-Michigan. Mid 
We'll get a foul here against Jade Coffin. Yeah, Lisa Creighton taking a hand across the face there as a reach, so that'll send Creighton to the line. So Creighton makes the first. Second one up and short. Lee Rafael, the rebound. Carlstrom inside. Nelson, now the Lakers really working that half court offense and a nice bucket by Brooke Brower. See, start working that possession, you can find other shots. You don't have to take the first quick three you find. <laughs> exactly, imagine that, speaking into existence once again is the great engineer, Nick Toner. Here's Cassidy Roll working it over. Kaufman deflects it, and it's going to go out of bounds and off. Returning for the Lakers, number one, Bailey Visman. A North. So Visman to check in. Ray Field to have a seat. And we're going to get one more sub. After the ball was inbounded. Returning for the North, number one, Leah Allen. So that works out. Leah Allen back in, wearing one in blue. Wearing one in white is Bailey Visman. She's got the ball and kicks it to Liv Nelson, who gets it inside. Kicks it, Kaufman, corner three, got it! That is five three-pointers for Jade Kaufman. Three-pointer on the other end. Rims out, no good. That shot by Frappy. Visman, Brower, Karlstrom, traveled. Returning for the Lakers, number 33, Andy Rayfield, along with number 34, Olivia so Niederhood. So Rayfield and Niederhood check back in. We're going to get a timeout, 30-second timeout Bay College. by Bay, Bay College. Timeout. So yet another timeout here with... Mid-Michigan up 35-17. Three-point baskets will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Five of them just by Jade Kaufman alone. Seven overall, one by Visman, one from Niederhood. But Jade Kaufman, 15 points here in this first half, all of them from beyond the arc. Her shots have a smoke trail coming off them if you're playing NBA Jam. Oh. <laughs> just wait, just give it a minute. You're, just, you're gonna see those vicious dunks here in just a few minutes. Here's Allen working on Visman, loose ball, top of the key. A calamity of, of, of humanity there trying to pick it up. They work it inside, Ray Field is steal. Here's Jade Kaufman. Now Lex Karlstrom. Here's Kaufman again. Left her wide open, and she splashed another one! The defense rotated, I guess, one too many and left her wide open. Yeah. Straight away, Jay, no good. Niederhood the rebound. Number four is the absolute last Laker you want to leave wide open. And, and Niederhood. Didn't see it at first, but good communication from Visman. Got the ball into her hands. Need her head. Karlstrom works it into Andy Rafael. No way. Oh, she just off. Just off the three ball from Kaufman. Nice facts. <laughs> the three ball now is up and short for Stephanie Frappi, it's another miss. You know, Car Carlstrom to the bench, Griffin checking in. Caitlin Walter also checking in, Visman to the bench. Good to see members of the mid-Michigan men's team out here supporting their fellow Lakers, as well as 
the Bay College men's team, and we're going to get a double dribble here against Caitlin Walter. Sounds like switching back to a uh, Laker to Laker defense, if you will, for Mid Michigan. And a foul call. Foul by number 11, Caitlin Walter. By Caitlin Walter. So that's two against Walter here in this first half. 128 to go. The foul was drawn by Alyssa Cretton, so she'll shoot a pair. She makes the first. Already a dozen for Cretton, just shy of her average. The second one's off Niederhood, the rebound. Here's Caitlin Walter directing traffic. Niederhood, Kaufman. Now let's see the defense closing in on her a little bit quicker. Here's Griffin, and offensive foul. We'll go against Raphael. Less than a minute to go here in the second quarter, and a block by Satori Griffin. Could you hear the slap of the ball as it went around? Tough rebound there by Niederhood. Kaufman to Rayfield inside of Niederhood doing work. And a nice bucket. Or Olivia Niederhood. Three ball from the wing is up and good for, for Stephanie Frappy. That one's got to feel good for her. Satori Griffin with and a bucket for Satori Griffin on the other end. Oh, and the 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 half court heave hit hit the rim. So that is how your first half will come to a close. Mid Michigan, forty two. Bake. College 21, 20 minutes down, 20 minutes to go. We'll be back with more here for Maury Courts. You're watching Laker basketball on Mac TV. Mac TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services from in studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work. Broadcasting on Charter Channels 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties.
Hi, I'm Amy Bunting and I'm the director here at Mori Courts Recreation Center. Here at Mori Courts, we have 127,000 square feet of fun. We have four high school length basketball courts, we have two collegiate maple courts, and we have two collegiate size multi-purpose courts. So when you're at Mori Courts, you can come and you can play anything that you can think of, volleyball, basketball, racquetball, pickleball, all the things that you can possibly imagine that would be fun for you for recreation or even for fitness. At Mori Courts, when you have a membership here, you have a membership for a fitness center, and we've got McLaren Fitness over on Three Leaves Drive that's also a part of our memberships. So it's like two in one. Also, you have choices when it comes to purchasing your memberships. Depending on if you're a student or a senior citizen, you may get a discount, or if you're a member of some place that is a corporate partner of ours. Otherwise, you can also choose if you want just weight and fitness or if you want access to the whole shebang. Either way, bring your family down. In fact, once a month, you can come try it out on the first Friday of every month for free, as long as you bring us a non-perishable canned good for our food pantry. In addition, we also like to support the community. We partner with vendors that are local for all the industry that we do business with here. In addition, we have programming that is tying into um, programs like Transitions That Count, Connections That Count, MMI, and many more. Also, we've got, like I mentioned, a food pantry at the front of house, and we've got a take it or leave it coat and boots rack for our cold weather months in Michigan, which obviously last forever. Mori Quartz is privileged to be a hospitality business model. So what we really like to do is bring in Michigan brand basketball and volleyball tournaments, but also brands from all over the region. So we're pretty fortunate to do businesses with entities like Gus Macker, Triple Threat Basketball, Michigan Mystics Basketball, and a lot more. And we're growing. So keep your eyes peeled for all the things that Mori Quartz is gonna have to offer on the weekends from now on. So if you're so inclined, why don't you check us out on our website, it's brand new, moricourts.com, or come down. We're at 5175 East Remus Road. We'd really love to see you. My team is amazing, and it's Team Mori that's been keeping this place going. I'm very grateful for them, and we're very grateful for you. Sports lovers, meet here. I signed up for the Laker Distinction Scholarship because I knew I wanted to go to mid right away anyways. I knew that I wanted to get through college debt free or as close to debt free as possible. Because I had some classmates who were a couple years older than me that had won it and they had a really positive experience at mid. and provided me the perfect path to get my associate's degree here at Mid-Michigan College and begin the rest of my college journey. Winning LDS was a really positive experience for me. I was able to work on campus, and I was also able to study abroad, which is something I never really thought I would be able to do. Really, the basis of my success today and my continual success is the Laker Distinction Scholarship and is MidMichigan College, because without this first step, I wouldn't be where I am today. It really helped uh, for me to know that the first two years of tuition were gonna be lifted off. The college process. And I really do think that my time here at MID has helped prepare me to take these next steps, not only financially by saving a lot of money, but the faculty here at MID and the classwork I feel like has really prepared me for the next step and these harder classes that I know I will be taking. Receiving the LDS scholarship gave me the opportunity to successfully transfer 67 credits to Grand Valley State University, now putting me on the fast track to graduation where I will be graduating a complete year early in the spring of 2020.
Hello, friends, and welcome back to Maury Courts here in Mount Pleasant. I apologize. I, uh, I've developed a case of the hiccups, <laughs> but... It's like the yips for announcers. Apparently. <laughs> Mid-Michigan leading Bay College 42-21 here in the opener of this Saturday matinee doubleheader as the Norse have, again, made that four-and-a-half-hour trip Whew. from Escanaba to Mount Pleasant. Surely there's a closer conference that they could have been in. <laughs> well, <laughs> look, I could get into this whole realignment alignment thing with the MCCAA, but, you know, I'm not going to. Um, but anyway, uh, Mid-Michigan, again, has a 21-point lead. Some of the halftime stats to look at. Bay College, first of all, shooting 8% from the three-point li line, one of 12. That one coming from Stephanie Frappy late in that second quarter. The Lakers leading the rebounding battle 20 to 17. Another solid number. The Lakers shooting 46% from the field and 36% from three point range. Again, six of those makes coming from Jade Kaufman, who had those 18 points in the first half. Bailey Visman with seven. Brooke Brower with six. Olivia Niederhood with five. And one of those other three pointers. Visman had the other. Those are your, those are just some of the some of the scorers for Mid Michigan. Satori Griffin has four points, leading the way for Bay College is Alyssa Cretton with twelve. Tiana Taylor has four. Stephanie Frappy again has three, and Emma Rudder has two. So we are set to go here in the second half. The Norse to inbound it right here in front of us. That was Stephanie Frappy to in inbound it. She gets it to Alyssa Cretton as Cretton works it around the perimeter. Finds Leah Allen, Karlstrom on the floor. Picks it up and that's a quick steal. Quick turnover for mid-Michigan. And then another turnover. Thought it. She stepped out of bounds, but it was missed. So, so she, I guess, did not step out of bounds. But Brower with the block. This possession starting to feel a little awkward here after the the the, the miss. It's about thirty I mean, seconds in, and who's really had a possession yet? <laughs> right. And one turnover per side already in the first or er, here in this third quarter. And then the block from Brower, which would have normally drawn some huge reaction, but I think everyone was just stunned by the miss there. And there's another miss. Looked like it may have been deflected. But in any event, it goes off of Bay College and goes back to mid-Michigan, and these hiccups are going to be a problem for me. Anyway. <laughs> just got to catch them. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a, a, a wild cough. Cough. Carlstrom for three. No good. The rebound to the Norse. Here's Taylor inside against Brower. Her shot too strong. Liv Nelson the rebound. Visman, baseline drive, pulls it back, kicks it to Br Brower, who shots off. Griffin swats the rebound away. The rebound would officially go to Visman. It looks like we're going to get a shot clock error. So just a shot clock miscalculation there. So Lakers inbound it, and then Carlstrom dribbles it off her foot. But here's the Norris. Leah Allen, her shot no good. Visman didn't have the rebound, but then, then sec secured it. Oh, my gosh. Brower, her shot rattles around and out. Yeah, unlucky around the rim there for Brower. 
Good find, though, by Carlos from on the baseline. So still scoreless here in the second half, two minutes into it. Shot long, no good, and it'll stay down here with Bay College. And for the Lakers, number 14, Cooper Agama. So Agama checks back in, as does Terea Moore. So Bay College now, Cretton from the short corner, no good. Moore the rebound. Now to Visman on the break, she'll slow it down. Here's Brower at the top of the key, 15 on the ticker. Liv Nelson in the corner, no. Brower inside to Moore. Moore stepping, tough shooting shot. and scoring. What a find by Brower and a tough finish by Terrera Moore. So that's the first, those are the first points of the second half. Three minutes in to the third quarter. Shot from Allen, rims out, no good. More the rebound. Here's Bailey Visman. Visman driving, stopping, turning, and the shot was must have been blocked. And it will go back to the way of Bay College. Looked like some heavy contact. I, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Sometimes it gets called, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. Shot up, no good. There's more on the rebound right I guess over I'd, baseline. I guess I'd rather have a ticky tack no call than a ticky tack call. So <laughs> keeps the game flowing this I way. I guess so. Here's Coffin driving, shooting a two, and making the two. She can do that too. She can do it all. <laughs> a little bit of a drive, a pull up, and and a bucket from about. 15 feet. Six minutes to go. We had four points in this now six. Emma Rudder. As Emma Rudder finds herself on the scoreboard again, she's got four. Terea Moore, the sky hook, can't get it to go. The rebound there to Cretton. She'll drive the length of the floor. Now the Norse working it around. Here's Leah Allen. She goes up. And we're going to get a foul call here against Caitlin Walter. So Raphael and Niederhood back in with their team up by 23, an exact double. And so the foul, quick foul against Andy Raphael. I don't know about that one. Looked like a clean block I, from here. That's what I'm saying. So Tiana Taylor to the free throw line. She makes the first. She's one of two on the afternoon. But remember, as the PI guy said in the beginning of the show, everyone needs to know their roles. I know, Let I know. The officials officiate. And she makes the second. 69% free throw shooter is Tiana Taylor. Right around the team average, actually. Coffin, straightaway three. Got it! Jade Kaufman. It's almost like the games that we've watched here, the teams that refuse to cover Kaufman are the teams that get blown up. The teams that decide to not let her shoot, it's a close game. Exactly. And she'll be charged with a foul here on this play. Michigan foul on number four, Jade Kaufman. Her second, third team foul. So that's two against Kaufman. Now 
Long ball missed there was Alyssa Cretton. 440 to go, third quarter. Mid-Michigan is up 49-25. Kaufman, oh, we're gonna get a whistle. Good thing that one didn't count. <laughs> so Stephanie Frappy with a foul call here. Here's Walter driving, losing the basketball. So Tiana Taylor picks up a quick foul. That's two against her. So now the Lakers working it and and it deflected into Cooper Agama's hands and she gets the bucket. Her first field goal, her first points of the game. Hey, we take those. And then she gets a steal. Niederhood on the other end. Got it! Olivia, nice heads up play there by Agamo to find Niederhood. And then Taylor works it inside. Nice high low action. Yeah, Two more for Tiana Taylor. Niederhood inside, gets the bucket to go. What a tough shot. As she fights through there against Tiana Taylor. And then Agama, oh. She wanted the steal too. The entire Mich mid-Michigan bench wanted the steal. So Kaufman heads to the bench, as does Ray Feel and Walter. Visman, Griffin. Griffin, and Brower check back in for Mid Michigan. A shot and a bucket is up and good for Alyssa Cretton. So Griffin picks up the foul. That's already five against Mid-Michigan in the quarter. So Bay College will shoot free throws the rest of the way in this quarter. That one is a miss from Cretton. Nice defensive rebound there by Olivia Niederhood. Niederhood again, shooting, missing, but Brower on the rebound in the bucket. 57 29, two and a half to go, third quarter. And uh, offensive foul. Olivia Niederhood draws the contact and draws a charge. So that foul will go against Alyssa Cretton. And that's what Olivia Niederhood is so good at. Yeah, she's a real spark plug off the bench. Brings a lot of energy onto the floor defensively. And a slight miscommunication there, but it en ends up working out just fine for the Lakers. Carlstrom works it in to Brower. Those two have a, have a good connection. Niederhood, corner three, splash it! Sixty to twenty-nine. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Excellent find by Brower in the post. Kick that out for that three. Visman steal. Visman coasting. Got. Nine points for Visman.
Three ball, Cretton, book it. Cretton having herself a big game. That one knocked away and it's gonna be a, a turnover. Stolen away by Cretton. Here's Roll over to Taylor. Shot is up, no good. Griffin the rebound. That's 15 for Alyssa Cretton at last, at last check. This been a bucket. She's into double figures. It's that little runner. It's just, it's just a little teardrop floater. Pass just over Visman's reach. Cretton, corner three. No. Brower the board. And then stolen away. This time by Stephanie Frappy. Her layup no good. Tiana Taylor the rebound and she's fouled. This one will be charged to Olivia Niederhut for a shove. It's her first. Foul number 34, Olivia Niederhut and her first. Returning for Edgar Kaufman and Nelson. So Jade Kaufman and Liv Nelson check in. First one is up and good. The second is good as well. Tiana Taylor into double figures with 10 points. Her team still down by 30 with less than 10 seconds left, no way. And we're gonna get a foul. Yeah, Alexis Carlstrom got pushed into Kaufman, so. So that's a push there against Stephanie, Stephanie Frappy. 10, Stephanie Frappy, her second, team first. So seven seconds left in the quarter. Lakers get it in. Carlstrom driving, three on the on the clock. Stolen away, Kaufman gets it back and then turns it right back over. And again, some calamity to end the third quarter. Mid-Michigan leading by 30, 64-34. Nick, quick thought. I thought the pace of the game really sped up there in the middle of the quarter, then it just kind of ground down to a halt here with some sloppy play from both sides. But either way you look at it, 30-point lead for the Lakers, feeling comfortable. Look forward to the fourth quarter where they could put it away. We'll have that fourth quarter you fourth quarter for you on the other side of this break. You're watching Laker basketball on Mac TV. Hello friends and welcome back to Maury Courts Recreation Center in Mount Pleasant. Mac TV's presentation of MCCAA Northern Conference Basketball. The women's side here, 10 minutes to go as Mid-Michigan has a 64-34 lead over Bay College. Liv Nelson inbounds it right in front of us to Bailey Visman who kicks it to Terea Moore back to Nelson who mishandled it. The bet. That ball was deflected out of bounds. We'll stay down here, 20 on the shot clock. Visman working it around the perimeter, trying to create some space. Terea Moore going to work. Underneath her shot short, gets her own rebound. Gets another shot up and he, she got the bucket. 
Nice hustle play there by Moore. Split two defenders to get the rebound and then get the tough bucket. Shot is up and off for Cretton. Nelson the rebound. Here's Visman Kaufman. Thought she had another open three. Carlstrom in the corner now. The Norse bench pleading for some defense. And a block there by Tiana Taylor. And Visman steal. the rebound. No, Visman the steal, excuse me. And the bucket. So it's 15 turnovers for Bay College. Here's Taylor now going to work. That one knocked out by Terea Moore. And it will stay down here with Bay College. But again, some disruption. So Walter and Agama will supplant Visman and Karlstrom. As the Norse get set to inbound this one, here's Cretton. And she's fouled by Agama on a bump. I wonder why he said armbar so many times. <laughs> Wanted to make sure we knew it. I guess so. Good communication there. And out of bounds, going to go back to mid-Michigan. So yet another turnover by the Norse. 16 at last count. Here's Nelson Kaufman, wide open, splash it. That is eight three-pointers for Jade Kaufman, 26 points. Eight of probably 10. <laughs> and the shot is up off, Liv Nelson the rebound, here's Cooper Agama. Walter. To Kaufman, three ball again, got it! Jade Kaufman, she's just laughing. She's having herself a time out there. Loose ball, and we're gonna get a tie up. It'll stay down here with mid, or with Bay, excuse me. Wow. So Allen to check back in. Here's Cretton to Frappy to Allen. And we're going to get a whistle. And get a foul against Terea Moore. So that's four against Moore. First team foul. After a conversation with the official between the officials, it'll be an inbound as Niederhood will check back in more to the bench. North struggling to get it in. They get it into Taylor. Cretton a shot and a bucket. That's 17 by last count for Cretton. Kaufman, three ball. Two, not enough. And out of bounds on the sideline for Cretton on the rebound. And she gathered it as she was stepping out of bounds, battling against Cooper Agama. So it'll be 20 seconds on the shot clock for mid. Agama gets it in to Walter. Back to Agama. Agama driving, stopping, finding Walter at the top of the key. Walter driving now right hand. Floater, no. Rebound there to Cassidy Roll. 74-36, just under seven minutes to go fourth quarter here at Maury Courts. For the women's game. Men's game to follow, that's going to be... A good one. 
The shot is short there. Liv Nelson the rebound. Here's Caitlin Walter. Kaufman. No, Niederhood straight away. Jay short. That one goes out of bounds. Tori Griffin check back in. Liv Nelson to the bench. 74-36. Six and a half to go here in this ball game. Knocked away by Satori Griffin. And it'll stay down here. Leah Allen to inbound it on the near side. Alyssa Cretton now driving, gets it into to Taylor. Her shot no good, Griffin the rebound. Here's Agama, Kaufman the trailer. Didn't get it to her. They get it to Niederhood inside, fights for it. Back to Agama, to Griffin, driving baseline. One, it's gonna be a foul call. They're gonna get Tiana Taylor. Stay ball on number 33, Tiana Taylor, her third. So that's three against Taylor, and we're going to get a 30-second timeout from Lance Maney here with 6.01 to go in the third quarter. This Nick, a, uh, timeout. A, a timeout here, 38-point uh, game. Um, not uh, Normally the question here with about six minutes to go is how does Michigan close this thing out? What would you like to see Michigan do here these last six minutes? I think really run a half court offense. Like really take, really salt this game away. Like now is the time where you can salt it. Use all 30 seconds of your shot clock, and just give it to Jade. Have her shoot a three. Doesn't matter. Just burn the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's how you salt this one away. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, Coffin is having herself a night. She's on fire, and I've also been really impressed with Alyssa Creighton for the for the North. She's been really impressive here tonight as well. She really has. Topping her season average, she's got 17. Walter for three from the wing, short. Rebound by Griffin. Nice offensive rebound Here's there Agamo by Satori. To Walter, Walter with, the, with the, the hop. Can't get it to go though. So it'll stay a 38 point ball game. Here's Roll, on a roll, she got it! Cassidy Roll. Cassidy Roll finds herself on the scoreboard for the first time. Griffin for three, too strong. Agama fighting for the rebound. And she'll be fouled literally on the floor. <laughs> Quite literally on the floor, that one gonna go against Stephanie Frappy. Stay ball on number 20, Emma Rudder, her first. Nope, they're going to get it. Uh, I'm sorry, against Emma Rudder. Timeout, Bay College. So, timeout, Bay College here. Another 30. No, this is a full timeout, so we'll step aside. Lakers lead by 36, 517 to go. You're watching Laker Basketball Mac TV. Welcome back, 5.17 to go here in the fourth quarter. Mid-Michigan uh, leading this thing. Jade Kaufman, the story of this ball game. Three-pointer after three-pointer, nine of them, 29 points. As she made that, that little drive and, and pull-up jumper. So Lakers get it back in. Find Kaufman again, unbelievable! Oh, she couldn't get it to go. Man, I wanna see her get 10. Let's see 10 of them go down for her. Creighton the shot, no good. 
Cretton, excuse me, Alyssa Cretton, the shot no good. Get it into Niederhood and blocked. Now here's Cretton again, driving, scooping, and couldn't get it. Terea Moore the rebound. Here's Walter, Jade Kaufman again, going a little behind the back. Here's Niederhood on the wing to Caitlin Walter. Terea Moore driving, shooting, oh, just unlucky. That's been the, the story of her game has just been, today has just been unlucky at the rim. Long two is up and good for Stephanie Frappy. She's got five points. Niederhood, corner three, splash it, and the foul. Three-point three basket by Olivia Niederhood is good. So, unsure what the foul call was. What just for. happened? So they said the basket was good, and they're going to. Number four, Jade Kaufman. So the foul will go against Jade Kaufman after the after the shot. So the the basket is good. So the three pointer by Niederhood is good, and then the foul will go against Kaufman, and a block by Satori Griffin. So that's three against Jade Kaufman and three against the Lakers here in the fourth quarter. 3.50 to go. So 77-40, a 37-point advantage for mid-Michigan. Leah Allen on the ball here. Here's Alyssa Cretton. Get it in to roll. Over to Frappy, back to roll. And that is just unlucky too. Couldn't get it to go. That rattled about down. halfway down, and it rimmed out. So here's Carlstrom back into the ball game. Moore, the shot, and we're going to get an offensive foul. Returning for the North, number three, Amaya. Or is it a travel? Looks like it's a travel. Pardon me. Here's Cretton, a shot, a bank. Apparently the banks are open in Mount Pleasant on a Saturday afternoon. I think they all are. but At least until 2, right? I, I think so. <laughs> well, we're at 2.30, so. Carlstrom underneath. Oh, what, what a, a pass. pass. And a score. Oh, my goodness. Lex Carlstrom running back down with a huge smile on her face after a, a tipped pass. She just tipped it right down to Terea Moore. Who got the bucket? Good communication here in this zone defense by Mid-Michigan. Stolen away, Zatori Griffin collects the loose ball. Karlstrom, Kaufman for three! Just off. And timeout here called by Bay College. which has one time out left. This is a full timeout, so we will step aside. We'll have the finish for you here with 2.26 to go. 79-42, Mid-Michigan leads. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV. Mac TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services, from in-studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work, broadcasting on Charter Channel 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties. We're back. Welcome back. 226 to go here on Mac TV. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon from Maury Courts. Austin Chastain alongside the chief engineer, Nick Toner. 
Uh, th this one a bit lopsided uh, as, as mid-Michigan leads 79-42, under two and a half minutes to play. Um, but we're starting to see a little bit more half-court offense. Three ball, up and no good. Carl's from the rebound. Honestly, I just want Jay to get that 10th triple so that we can call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in her favorite spot. See if they can get it to her. Moore inside, her shot goes up and she's fouled. So Terea Moore to the free throw line. Take out foul call on number 22, Cassidy Roll. Her third. The foul call against Cassidy Roll. At the line, shooting two for the Lakers. Number 20, So Terea Moore. here's Terea Moore, a 62% free throw shooter. M makes the first, averaging just under seven points per game, and she is at that number right now, 6.8 on the official line. And she makes them both. So she's up to eight points now is Terea Moore. Two minutes to go. Niederhood, the rebound on the air ball. Agama, the drive. And sh she gets the layup in the bucket. Four points for Agama. And now it's officially a 41 point advantage for the Lakers. Yeah, Lakers able to just slowly wear this team down. With the the shot by Crenton up and no good. Kaufman waiting for it. There it is. Three ball. No. Niederhood, a tough rebound. And we're going to get a tie up. So we'll stay down here with Mid-Michigan. See if she can hit that 10th three, three ball. Moore on the inside, and she's got a bucket. Nice find by Karlstrom on the inbound to make that work. 85-42. Just a reminder, we'll have Coach Lance Maney here on the postgame show for Lakers fans not able to attend here this afternoon. Kaufman the steal. See if a steal can translate to a 10th three-pointer. Agama the drive and the score. I think Cooper Agama has six points. It looks now that the Norse are so worried about the three-point shot from Kaufman that they're just letting the guard drive from that side of the floor right to the hoop. We've seen it now twice Allen the Agama. drive, no. And the shot clock is officially off after the Kaufman rebound. And it looks like mid-Michigan will just hold it and take Kaufman shaking her head. She really wanted that, that one big bucket. But anyway, Jade Kaufman, 29 points to lead mid-Michigan, which now improves to 18-3 overall, 8-2 here at Maury Courts, 7-0 in conference play, winners of eight in a row, 11 out of its last 12. Mid-Michigan wins, 87-42. Nick, your thoughts on how uh, how this thing went? I think that just the, no having no bench for the Norse, really, you could just tell that the Lakers subbing constantly just ground them down the whole game. What started off as sloppy basketball in the beginning just turned into just, I mean, a three-point fest by Jade Kaufman for one. That'll, nine three-pointers will definitely open you up a lead. But then just the lack of having a bench to really compete with this Lakers squad just allowed them to just, like I said, just grind them down. And now we, they walk out of here with a four-hour bus ride and a 40-point defeat. So uh, there you go. Uh, the Norse fall to six and fifteen, four and two in conference play, and they're have now lost four out of their last five. So that said, we will step aside for just a brief moment, hopefully to have Coach Lance Maney and maybe see if we can get Jade Kaufman. But we'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV. Hi, I'm Amy Bunting, and I'm the director here at Maury Courts Recreation Center. Here at Maury Courts, we have 127,000 square feet of fun. 
We have four high school length basketball courts, we have two collegiate maple courts, and we have two collegiate size multi-purpose courts. So when you're at Maury Courts, you can come and you can play anything that you can think of, volleyball, basketball, racquetball, pickleball, all the things that you can possibly imagine that would be fun for you for recreation or even for fitness. At Maury Courts, when you have a membership here, you have a membership for a fitness center, and we've got McLaren Fitness over on Three Leaves Drive that's also a part of our memberships. So it's like two in one. Also, you have choices when it comes to purchasing your memberships. Depending on if you're a student or a senior citizen, you may get a discount, or if you're a member of some place that is a corporate partner of ours. Otherwise, you can also choose if you want just weight and fitness or if you want access to the whole shebang. Either way, bring your family down. In fact, once a month, you can come try it out on the first Friday of every month for free, as long as you bring us a non-perishable canned good for our food pantry. In addition, we also like to support the community. We partner with vendors that are local for all the industry that we do business with here. In addition, we have programming that is tying into um, programs like Transitions That Count, Connections That Count, MMI, and many more. Also, we've got, like I mentioned, a food pantry at the front of house, and we've got a take it or leave it coat and boots rack for our cold weather months in Michigan, which obviously last forever. Mori Quartz is privileged to be a hospitality business model. So what we really like to do is bring in Michigan brand basketball and volleyball tournaments, but also brands from all over the region. So we're pretty fortunate to do businesses with entities like Gus Macker, Triple Threat Basketball, Michigan Mystics Basketball, and a lot more. And we're growing. So keep your eyes peeled for all the things that Mori Quartz is gonna have to offer on the weekends from now on. So if you're so inclined, why don't you check us out on our website, it's brand new, moricourts.com, or come down. We're at 5175 East Remus Road. We'd really love to see you. My team is amazing, and it's Team Mori that's been keeping this place going. I'm very grateful for them, and we're very grateful for you. Sports lovers, meet here. Hello friends and welcome back to Maury Courts Recreation Center here in Mount Pleasant, the Mid-Michigan Laker Women's Basketball Post Game Show here on Mac TV. I'm Austin Chastain along with Jade Kaufman after an 87-42 win for the Mid-Michigan women. 29 of those points came from you, Jade, uh, and nine three-pointers. Walk me through it. First of all, walk me through your nine three-pointers. How, how, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling really good. The last few games, I've been struggling a lot. So I felt coming into this one really good. The last couple of days, I've been shooting it really well. Pre-game, I was shooting it really well. And I know they play a lot of zone, and that always gets me excited. So I just felt good today. It, we could kind of see it right from the outset that, that you came in and you knocked down two quick three-pointers. And then everything, it just kept, just kept rolling, just kept rolling. Um, couldn't quite get the tenth. Uh, it just kept <laughs> rimming out. We, know. we know you were hunting it. Uh, I mean, but overall, just a, an excellent performance and, and a, a, another nice win for, for the team. Uh, everything seems to be going pretty well then. It is. I mean, I can say I do so much, but it's a lot of my teammates. They're always trying to find me, and my coaches are always trying to make plays for me to get open threes, so I couldn't make nine threes without them. R right. We, we also <laughs> saw the... Uh, Little 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 drive and, and a little uh, little drive and pull up. Uh, so the, the range it's it's uh, pretty much anywhere. It's from you know from here to all the way back in Houghton Lake maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just I, I, I guess just the 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 energy that you bring with with your shooting abilities, your defensive abilities. Um, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I know you mentioned it's a lot of fun to play in. What's it like playing uh, with, 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 these, with these fine ladies here, though? I love playing with them. I honestly couldn't ask for anything better. They're a great group. They're always working hard. I'm just grateful, very grateful. M move it up to uh, now 7-0 and in conference play and really solidifying first place uh, after that nice win over Muskegon, but um, excited how things are going. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Very excited. I actually, on the way here, I listened to Coach's interview on the radio last night, and um, we got to be road warriors this next month. We got tough road schedules, so we really got to work on that and stay hunting. I was going to say your next three are on the road. You, you won't you won't play here again for another two weeks. Two weeks. That's that's got to be pretty daunting. I, I, is it a little daunting? 
a little, but I think we'll do it. We'll do it. I know last year when we went to Grand Rapids, we struggled. Last year we went to Muskegon, we struggled, but whole different team, whole new staff, so we're ready. We're ready. Okay, excellent. Love, love to hear. Love to see it. Jade, great game today, and uh, keep things rolling. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. We certainly appreciate Thanks for it. Thanks having me. And uh, we'll be back here with the uh, with the women's game here in. Or, wow, women's game already happened. How about <laughs> how about the men's game starting here in about 18 minutes time? So we'll be back in about 15 minutes to preview that one and get it started for you. you so we'll step aside once again. You're watching Laker Basketball Mac TV, and if you're only tuning in for the women's game. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you again in about two weeks' time when we meet again.
to you. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Maury Courts Recreation Center here in Mount Pleasant. Sorry I had to adjust the microphone there, but welcome back to Maury Courts here in Mount Pleasant. The famous saying is, let's play two, and we are about to do that, this time the men's side as mid-Michigan gets set to take on Bay College. Welcome back, Austin Chastain with the engineer, Mr. Nick Toner here on Mac TV Again, this presentation of MCCAA basketball, Northern Conference matchup. Should be a good one. Bay College, again, a four and a half hour journey for a conference game. Mm -hmm. 16 and four overall coming in this one. All of those four losses, though, have been away from home. 6-0 in conference play. Both teams 6-0 in conference play. So that makes this a battle for first place by a wide margin. Both teams, again, 6-0 in conference play. Bay College 16-4. Mid-Michigan 15-4. So there's, that, I guess, that, that half game, if you will. But, it, again, it all matters in the conference. So this is a, a, a big game in terms of the standings because Grand Rapids, which is, I guess, third third in a tie for third now with North Central Michigan and Delta, those three schools at three and three in conference play. So this one really determines who has the stranglehold on the conference with a, with as we get into the second half of conference play. So that said, let's take a look at the tail of the tape, if you will. Bay College smacked North Central Michigan and Muskegon. A couple of wins at Grand Rapids and at Delta. And then Kirtland on Wednesday, seven straight wins for Bay College. They shoot well from the field. Another team that can score at will. We've seen this quite a bit. They don't really shoot outside a ton, though, through the Norse. Mid-Michigan, again, 15-4, 6-0 overall. Beat Ancilla early in the season, which is typically a pretty good win. Ancilla is down this year, so that's not a huge change. Beat Kellogg right before the break and then lost to Jackson in overtime. Again, if you remember DeLon McLeod hitting the, the baseline jumper right at the buzzer to send that thing to overtime, but just ended up fizzling out. Mid-Michigan is winners of its last eight and 10 out of its last 11. The guys are really coming into their own here. A lot of, a lot of role players, a lot of guys stepping in, doing their own thing. And plenty of solid basketball. We're set. The starting lineups are being read. Bay College, I, I got to tell you, those are some pretty slick-looking uniforms. Yeah, I like the font. They're nice. Yeah, with Bay College written in cursive on the front, and then more Norse, excuse me, Norse written on the back. Hopefully Mid-Michigan can keep up the home cooking that they've got going on in this gym and knock off a pretty good Norse team here. We'll just have to wait and see. So this is a, a, a huge roster for, for the Norse. A lot of, lot of guys on, the, on this thing. I mean, this pretty much jam-packed as far as you can go. So usual, usual suspects for mid-Michigan in the starting lineup, Sims, McCombs, McLeod, Love, and Lewis. Again, Makai McCombs st stepping in for the injured Caden McGillis. He's still, well, not necessarily injured, excuse me, but he is out. And we're underway in game number two. Glad you're joining us here on Mac TV. Lakers and Delon McLeod with the first possession. Jaden Sims closely guarded there. Here's McCombs on the inside, gets it to Lewis, finds McLeod. McLeod driving. 
Losing the ball, gathering it. Here's Satchelov. He loses the basketball, but he gets it right back, and it's going to be a quick turnover for mid-Michigan. Actually, no, that will go down as a block. Pardon me. So here's Jaquez Overstreet. And a steal right into the hands of Makai McCombs. So the first turno actual turnover of the game goes to the way of Bay College and goes into the hands of mid-Michigan. So here's McCombs on the outside. Satchel Love working, 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 driving, shooting, and he, oh, and he missed it. And the rebound goes out of bounds and will stay down here. Or actually will go, whichever, however, whichever expression, it will go to the, to the Norse. So here's Tyrell Krieger. Jack has Overstreet. For three, and he got it. A big three for Overstreet. So man-to-man -man offense, or man-to-man -man defense, excuse me, here. And this ball's loose and goes out of bounds and will go down as the first mid-Michigan turnover and go to the way of the Norse. This is Krieger driving it all the way in and a quick bucket. So almost two minutes into this ball game, Mid-Michigan still not on the scoreboard. Bay College already on twice. McLeod, McCombs, three from the wing, missed everything, and that goes out of bounds. Coach Caleb House telling this guy to keep shooting. So those are shots that we've seen fall for in Michigan quite, quite, quite often. Here's Overstreet, driving on McCombs. And he throws it away. That one, wild pitch. <laughs> 100 if, you're just, if you're just joining us, Nick Nick and I had some uh, interesting banter uh, on, a, on a pass during the women's game. In fact, one of the officials asked us about it too, so fun fact. McLeod on the drive, can't get the bucket to go. And then a putback attempt by Lewis was no good. Rebound to the... To the Norse, Overstreet for three and a bucket. Jack has Overstreet. Javel Lewis now for three. He's got it, and the Lakers are finally on the board almost three minutes into this ball game. Here's Krieger, works it in. Justin Nelson with a, with a deuce. Jaden Sims now. 10-3 Norse early. McCombs to McLeod for three. Too strong. Sims works in for the rebound, and then he's taken to the floor. No call, and we'll go back to the, to the Norse. And a drive and a bucket there for Colin Hudson. 12-3 early. Timeout, mid-Michigan. Looks like it'll be the 32nd variety. Yeah, Mid Michigan not looking great on either end of the floor early going. Really, str really struggling. Really, really struggling. That that's I don't think I don't think we've seen a start quite like that. But Bay College also is one of the best teams in the conference. Obviously, I mean we're near five minutes in, and your only buckets are Javale Lewis three pointer. So there's a lot of things not going right offensively for the Lakers right now. And defensively, they just got to pull, string together a few stops to get themselves back into this ball game. Just wanted to touch on one last thing, one final note from the women's game. Again, Jade Kaufman, 29 points. Bailey Visman, 13. Olivia Niederhood, 15 points. Didn't really see that coming for, in, in, uh, in that retrospect. She had three three-pointers. 
Brooke Brower with eight, Terea Moore with eight, Cooper Agamo with six for the Lakers. 19 points for Alyssa Cretton for the Norse. And now back in the men's game, Delon McLeod shot no good. And Jamel Lewis goes up with the putback and he got the foul. So Javel Javel, Javel Lewis, excuse me, has all five Laker points. And a foul there against Tyler Krieger. And the free throw is off for Javel. This is Lamar Grayson. Driving, baseline, shooting it, that shot deflected. Javel Lewis the rebound. Delon McLeod now. Lewis to Sims. Sims working on the sideline. Sims driving now, finds McLeod on the, on the wing, finds McCombs in the corner. Javel Lewis working baseline, and we're going to get a blocking foul here against Justin and Nelson. So Nick Ellis, his first action in the ball game. Here's Lewis and another blocking call. Here against Nelson. Javel Lewis picking up some fouls, doing some work. <laughs> that, I mean, and that's that's what he's so good at is being so, uh, rather elusive. So this is number 11, Genesis Kemp checking in for the first time. Genesis Kemp coming out of, actually Grand Rapids, how about that? And now here's Javel with a bucket. He's got all seven Laker points, does Javel Lewis. Can you imagine if he dropped like 80? <laughs> Some Wilt Chamberlain numbers there. Uh. But at the rate he's going, he might, he might do it. And three ball is no good. That was Colin Hudson on the attempt. And Lewis on the catch, and a bucket! He's still got them all! <laughs> Javel Lewis with a bucket there. Here's Hudson on the work through and he got it. So Colin Hudson finds himself again on the score, on the score sheet. He's got four. Time for the Lakers. Fighting away is Nick Ellis, his first rebound. Lakers working it in. Watts on the baseline. And a slam by Sancho Love. An entrance to the score sheet there, young man. And a really tough, really athletic bucket there by Lamar Grayson. Sims, three from the wing. Can't get it to go. Knocked away. And McGillis is in, how about that? Sims for three, he got it. Jaden Sims. It's the first mid-Michigan, second mid-Michigan three-pointer of the ball game. And a bucket, no. Colin Hudson with the miss. Two point game. It's good to see Caden McGillis back. Huge brace on that left knee. Sims with a drive, doesn't get it. McGillis in for the rebound and a bucket! Caden McGillis! What a tough rebound and a bucket. This game is tied. And Hudson with a bucket to make this game untied. <laughs> He's 
Devin Watts to Nick Ellis. And he throws it away. So it's already three mid-Michigan turnovers here in just over eight minutes. The drive is no good there by Kemp. Love the board. Ellis inside, working it. He's, he's hit and he'll go to the free throw line. So Genesis Kemp is charged with the foul. So Nick Ellis, 66% free throw shooter, makes his first. His first entry in the score sheet today. 20 to 19 Bay College leads. And the second is up and good. This game's back tied at 20. This is gonna be one of those kind of games. We'll see. So this is Terrell Krieger. And a bucket shot attempt there by Overstreet, no good. Genesis Kemp with the bucket there. Sims couldn't catch it cleanly. An altered shot attempt. Sims on the drive and a bank shot and got it. Jaden Sims. Already seven points for the Siena Heights transfer. And the shot up, no good. Devin Watts the rebound. He's looking for somebody to get it to, an outlet pass, but he'll just take it himself. Here's Sims, left on the left side, driving. He's contacted, goes to the floor, and then a subsequent turnover. Overstreet on the layup, can't get it to go. And then Jalen Franklin on the putback gets it to go. Yeah, unlucky there. Katie McGillis did good to make the first man miss, but couldn't get the rebound. Here's Devin Watts wearing two and white. Mid-Michigan working left to right across your screen. Bay College subs uh, conversely working right to left. And we're gonna get a charge call against Satchel Love. So, Sims, Ellis, and McGillis all to check out. McLeod, McCombs, and Lewis all checking back in for mid-Michigan. Three ball is up and good for Genesis Camp. He's having himself quite a game off the bench. It's already seven points for him. Here's Watts, finding Love, driving right hand. What an athletic individual effort. What a drive, what a drive. Goes around three Norse defenders to get to the rack. Love so strong with the basketball in his hands. Long three, heat check, off, no good. Rebound to Javel Lewis, here's Delon McLeod now. McLeod. Finds Lewis, who finds Watts. Watts driving. Uh, quite the individual effort on his own right. And then, and out about, so Love tried to, swatted it to keep it in play. And then Genesis Kemp, sitting out of bounds, swatted the ball to try to get it back in, try to keep it in play as the ball was rolling out. And that drew the whistle, so it'll stay down here with Michigan, McLeod, one of the three, didn't take it. McCombs will, and he's short. Long stretch pass, found by Kemp. Thrown all the way back to the center court line. Terrell Krieger. 
First action for Jalen Franklin. Overstreet shot, no good. Satchel loved the long rebound and he'll be fouled. Jack has Overstreet. Will be charged with the foul. Foul on number one, Scott Wells Overstreet. Fifth serve. Fifteen foul. Here's McLeod now, 23 on the ticker. Still plenty of time, spinning. Passing, long pass, finds Satch on the, on the wing. Works it into JaVel. What a dynamic, those two. JaVel Lewis with another bucket. All day for JaVel Lewis down there on the block. It's gonna be all day. 11 points for JaVel Lewis early. He's got that hook shot working so smooth right now. 27-26, just under eight minutes to go. And a turnover by Bay College. That's three turnovers against the Norse. For the North, number 23, Lamar Grayson. Lamar Grayson checks back in, wearing 23 in blue. I guess I, 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 I've already mentioned it, but these uniforms are clean for the men, for really for both men's teams here. Love corner three off the front rim, no good. And a long drive doesn't get it, and another. Putback is up and good. Jalen Franklin with a deuce and a bucket. See who the foul's on. They're gonna get Satch for it. Free throw is up and good for Franklin. He's got five points, and the Norse lead is four. Here's McLeod using the screen from Lewis. McLeod all the way to the rack. He got it. High off the window for DeLon McLeod. It's about as high as you can go off the glass and still get in the bucket. So this is Lamar Grayson. Now is Jalen Franklin. And three ball too strong there for Colin Hudson. And the Lakers now working it inside. Javel Lewis backing down Hudson and we're gonna get an offensive foul. So Javel Lewis will be charged with the foul there. For the Lakers, number zero, Jaden Sims, along with 23, Nick Ellis. So Sims and Ellis check back in for the Lakers, who trail by two at 30 to 28. Six and a half to go, first half. Three ball up and good for Lamar Grayson. Timeout from the Norse. And be a 30 second variety. Nick, we are just over 13 minutes into this game. It looked like Mid Michigan got punched in the mouth and then collected its teeth, put them back in, and now they're back. Yeah, kind of. It looked that way. Absolutely. Real struggle. Struggling real bad here early with the defense, but. The fence has kind of picked up recently. They need to string together a few more stops in a row. But and then on the offensive end, man, it's just they're they're just not finding a lot of room. But the room that they are finding, they're making it work. So, like I said, I think you start stringing some more stops together, and you could get ahead of this Norse team. They seem to play downhill. That's what they do, and 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 that's I think where one area where they maybe struggled a little bit is trying to find that momentum and really keeping it rolling. And that's, they, they did not struggle with that in the last game, but against Muskegon, but need to find it here. And disruption there by Overstreet. Here's McLeod, left hand. Oh, and he tried to get the layup to go, couldn't do it. And now 
a, a layup and miss. Genesis Kemp the rebound. Three ball, up and good for Jalen Franklin. Here's McLeod, working right hand. Lewis for three, couldn't get it. Seven point ball game, five and a half to go here in the opening half. Here's Kemp, working on Ellis, and he'll be fouled. So Genesis Kemp, a 10 point a game scorer, averaging 76% from the free throw line. Makes his first. See the rotation on the ball when he shot that? Yeah, he had some wicked backspin. So Love returns, Lewis to the bench. Back in for Bay College, number 32, Justin Nelson. Justin Nelson will supplant Colin Hudson. Kriegel will supplant Overstreet. One more for Kemp it is good. He's got nine early to lead his team. Lewis leading all scores with 11. McLeod struggling, he's trapped. And he's fouled. So that's already three against Justin Nelson. And six against the Norse. So one more, one more foul and the, and the Lakers will sh be shooting one and one. Here's McLeod, inside, I got it with the right hand. Needed that basket, needed a couple stops here now on the defensive end. And a long pass. That'll, that'll work, we take those. You take those if you're mid-Michigan. Uh, another, another wild pass. <laughs> Thirty-seven, thirty. The Norse lead here. Just over four minutes to go in the first half. Here's Ellis kicking back out to, McL to McLeod, who finds McCombs. That pass is tipped up and stolen away by Jalen Franklin. There's Craigle on the drive. Finds Franklin on the wing. Works it into Kemp. Kemp working against Satchel. Love. His shot no good. He's got a no, he's got two offensive rebounds and finally a bucket. There's McLeod spinning, driving, kicking. McCone for three. That's well short. Sims the rebound. He tries to keep it in, but just can't. Almost runs over a, a, a little one, right in front of, right in the front of the bleachers. Hopefully, he, he <laughs> Sims made sure she was okay. So Tony Russell will check in here for Delon McLeod. Javelle Lewis will check in for Satchel Love. Uh, one three one look here it appears for Mid Michigan. The drive, nice offensive work by the North, and they can't get the bucket, but they'll go to the free throw line. 
going to get the foul against Tony Russell. So this is Beryl Mowell. Makes his first. Five point game score, shooting 71% from the free throw line. Doesn't get there often, but when he does, he's typically pretty good about it. Making his shots, and he missed there. So he splits his initial pair of free throws. His team up by 10 with three minutes to go here in the first half. Five mid Michigan turnovers against just four for Bay. And a and that'll be a six turnover. Number 20, Colin Hepke, along with number one, Overstreet. Returning for the Lakers, number 22, Caden McGillis. So the North inbound it right in front of us, and they clear it out. And here they are on the left side, near side. And Lamar Grayson works it all the way around. Here's Kemp for three. Too strong. McGillis the rebound. Again, good to see him back. Missed the Muskegon game on Wednesday. Sims trying to force a pass, and he doesn't get it, and he's going to be called for a foul. So McLeod checks in. Sims will go have a breather. Tyrell Krieger will shoot one and one. And he missed it. It's about Lewis the rebound. Nearing the two minute mark. Ellis driving baseline, he stopped. Finds Lewis, who finds McLeod on the wing. McLeod driving for Javel Lewis. It's a good basket on the offensive end for the Lakers. They need to stop here now. 13 points for Javel Lewis here in this opening 20. Ten on the ticker. Hudson for three. Got it. Colin Hudson puts his team back up by 11. Here's McGillis. He finds McLeod. McLeod for three. Rims out. No good. Hudson the board. One minute to go. First half. That one goes out. out of bounds and fouled is Lamar Grayson. Tony Russell charged with the foul. Number 23, Lamar Grayson shooting two. So Lamar Grayson will shoot a pair, make his first. Seventy-eight percent free throw shooter, scoring sixteen, almost seventeen points per game, and he's got them both. Five oh seven are the Norse from the free throw line here in the final minute of the first half. Lewis with a bucket. Javel Lewis now with fifteen points, leading all scorers. His team still down by 11. Yeah. 
Shot is short by Kriegel. Rebound by Franklin, and he goes up with a shot. Blocked away, but will stay down here with the Norris. Nine seconds to go. That was a tough offensive rebound to give up here for the Lakers. They had to, they had to stop, and then they let the offensive rebound get away. Grayson with another bucket. And that is how your first half will come to an end. Bay College leads it 47-34. 20 minutes down, 20 minutes to go. Nick, your quick thought on how the first half played out. I think the Lakers just need to find some space on the offensive end and start making some stops. It sounds, it sounds easy, it sounds simple, but this Norse team has not made anything easy so far tonight. Exactly that. I'll say it again. 20 minutes down, 20 minutes to go. You're watching Laker basketball on Mac TV. Hi, I'm Amy Bunting, and I'm the director here at Maury Courts Recreation Center. Here at Maury Courts, we have 127,000 square feet of fun. We have four high school length basketball courts, we have two collegiate maple courts, and we have two collegiate size multi-purpose courts. So when you're at Maury Courts, you can come and you can play anything that you can think of, volleyball, basketball, racquetball, pickleball, all the things that you can possibly imagine that would be fun for you for recreation or even for fitness. At Maury Courts, when you have a membership here, you have a membership for a fitness center, and we've got McLaren Fitness over on Three Leaves Drive that's also a part of our memberships. So it's like two in one. Also, you have choices when it comes to purchasing your memberships. Depending on if you're a student or a senior citizen, you may get a discount, or if you're a member of some place that is a corporate partner of ours. Otherwise, you can also choose if you want just weight and fitness or if you want access to the whole shebang. Either way, bring your family down. In fact, once a month, you can come try it out on the first Friday of every month for free, as long as you bring us a non-perishable canned good for our food pantry. In addition, we also like to support the community. We partner with vendors that are local for all the industry that we do business with here. In addition, we have programming that is tying into um, programs like Transitions That Count, Connections That Count, MMI, and many more. Also, we've got, like I mentioned, a food pantry at the front of house, and we've got a take it or leave it coat and boots rack for our cold weather months in Michigan, which obviously last forever. Maury Quartz is privileged to be a hospitality business model. So what we really like to do is bring in Michigan brand basketball and volleyball tournaments, but also brands from all over the region. So we're pretty fortunate to do businesses with entities like Gus Macker, Triple Threat Basketball, Michigan Mystics Basketball, and a lot more. And we're growing. So keep your eyes peeled for all the things that Maury Quartz is gonna have to offer on the weekends from now on. So if you're so inclined, why don't you check us out on our website, it's brand new, moricourts.com, or come down. We're at 5175 East Remus Road. We'd really love to see you. My team is amazing, and it's Team Mori that's been keeping this place going. I'm very grateful for them, and we're very grateful for you. Sports lovers, meet here. Mac TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services, from in-studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work, broadcasting on Charter Channel 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties. Humane Animal Treatment Society is an animal adoption center that helps find animals forever homes and provide them with certain medical treatments. There are many ways you can help their cause. You can volunteer at HATS by running and reading with the animals, helping the staff with daily routines, and photographers can take pet pictures to boost their portfolio. 
There are still many animals looking for a forever home. See other ways you can make a difference at www.hadsweb.org. I signed up for the Laker Distinction Scholarship because I knew I wanted to go to mid right away anyways. I knew that I wanted to get through college debt-free or as close to debt-free as possible. Because I had some classmates who were a couple years older than me that had won it and they had a really positive experience at mid. and provided me the perfect path to get my associate's degree here at Mid-Michigan College and begin the rest of my college journey. Winning LDS was a really positive experience for me. I was able to work on campus, and I was also able to study abroad, which is something I never really thought I would be able to do. Really, the basis of my success today and my continual success is the Laker Distinction Scholarship and is MidMichigan College, because without this first step, I wouldn't be where I am today. It really helped uh, for me to know that the first two years of tuition were gonna be lifted off my shoulders. I got to meet a lot of great people who have become friends and advisors for me and I know that as I move on that they will still be here to help me get through the college process. And I really do think that my time here at MID has helped prepare me to take these next steps, not only financially by saving a lot of money, but the faculty here at MID and the classwork I feel like has really prepared me for the next step and these harder classes that I know I will be taking. Receiving the LDS scholarship gave me the opportunity to successfully transfer 67 credits to Grand Valley State University, now putting me on the fast track to graduation where I will be graduating a complete year early in the spring of 2020. Hello, my name is Judy. Amy. Jillian. Amy. It's Dawn. Recently, we joined friends, family, students, community members, and fellow MID employees to engage in a lifelong learning class. Our topic of choice was American Sign Language. MID offers a wide variety of lifelong learning classes, including dog training, arts and crafts, photography and outdoors, financial planning, many, many more. We hope to see you in class soon. Want to find more information? Check our website, www.midmish.edu. Thank, Thank you. you.
Hello friends and welcome back to Maury Courts Recreation Center in Mount Pleasant. You're watching Mac TV live coverage of NJCAA college basketball and in the MCCAA Northern Conference. Austin Chastain with you alongside the Mr. Chef, Chief Engineer, Nick Toner. Nick, I believe you have some stats for us uh, just real quick to, uh, to read over. Sure, um, sure. I, I know one one of those stats surprised me in a in a pretty big way in, in terms of rebounding. Yeah, the Lakers are actually out rebounding Bay College eighteen to fourteen, which is shocking. Well, it's shocking given Just the thirteen point advantage for the Norse here. Uh, but I mean, if, if you look at it, I mean, it's only seven to four in the turnover battle as uh, Bay College wow. only has four turnovers. You know what really stands out is they are down 13, but they're shooting 50% from the floor. So, like, you couldn't ask for a better half, really. It's just Bay's shooting 53% from the floor. Right, <laughs> and uh, the, the other big stat there, a 50% mark for Bay College from the three-point line yeah, versus 20 for mid-Michigan. Well, this Laker team's not really known for its behind-the-arc prowess, if you will. Right, no, no. Hey, is, is Jade Kaufman still here? I, I think I think right. I saw her around a couple minutes ago. Right, does her jersey match these guys' jerseys? <laughs> anyway, we're underway in the second half here at Mulroy Courts. The Norse start with the basketball. And Makai McCombs with a big steal. And then a kickback to Jaden Sims. And oh my Javel Lewis! Throw it down, big fella! 17 points. Here are the Norse on the return possession. Lamar Grayson with a bucket. Jamel Lewis now directing traffic. A 6-7 point guard. Sims for three. Book it. Jaden Sims make th makes this a 10-point ball game. Here's a drive. Blocked away by Satchel Love. Something he is he is so good at. Yeah, him and JaVel Lewis both really protectors of the rim, if you could ever say it. Overstreet, long two is good. Jacquez Overstreet with a nice bucket and gets it back out to 12 points. McLeod with a drive and a bucket. 6 4 McLeod wearing four and white. 51 41. Lakers need a stop to spark a run, maybe. And not going to get a stop on that one as Genesis Kemp. Drives through and scores an easy bucket. McLeod, again on the drive. His his pass, intended for Love, knocked away. Sims for three, no good, too strong. Bounced up and out. Just for the record, Nick, Jade is still here. I, I just saw her. <laughs> She's down on, on, on our left. Maybe Coach House needs to do some recruiting. <laughs> A nice drive and a floater there by Tyrell Krieger. He's got four. And we're going to get a foul against Lamar Grayson. That's one against him. So 41, nope, 55 41. Bay College has, his lead has extended actually by one from its halftime lead. Here's Sims working. He finds Javel Lewis who pops a three and he got it! Oh my, Javel Lewis! That's two of those for him tonight. 20 points! Lakers still down 11 though. And Krieger falls down. Here's McLeod on the drive. On a bucket! And a foul! Colin Hudson, his 
Colin Hudson charged with the foul, wearing 20 in blue. So DeLon McLeod to the free throw line here. 80% free throw shooter, averaging 13 points per game. Cloud working the ball around his torso. A little around the world action. Put shot up, and he got it. So that's nine for McLeod, as the Lakers are now down by just eight. The old fashioned three point play making a difference here for the Lakers. Kemp. Working against Lewis. Can't get the shot to go. Ball goes out of bounds and will go to the Lakers. And McLeod is having a tough time keeping his shoes tied here. Yeah, new kicks. Doesn't seem like he can keep them tied. They're sweet though. Look at those things, man. Those are cool. They are bright. I'll give them that. Here's McLeod. Works it into Sims. Oh, can't get the reversal to go. Now the Lakers fall back defensively. Kemp for three from the corner, short. Goes off the top of the backboard, actually off the, off the shot clock. Both off the shot clock and the, I guess, the, the standard column that holds the, the, the unit up. Goes off of that, and we'll go back to the Lakers. Who trail 55-47, 16 and a half to go here in regulation. McLeod driving left hand, got it to Lon McLeod. He's got 11. Hudson for in the short corner, he's got it. All right, if you're in Michigan here, you need a bucket on this trip and a couple stops. String it together. And McLeod with a runner. There was no stopping him there. And a nice bucket on another runner by Terrell Krieger. Too easy there for Krieger to penetrate the defense, get that floater. McLeod on the other end, can't get it to go. Loose ball, picked up by Genesis Kemp. And McCombs over pursued it, but he's gonna have to run all the way back down the floor. Three ball is no good for Kriegel. Satchel love the rebound. Fortunate play there, good thing Satchel's there to get that rebound. McCombs almost ran into the training table. Maybe he pushed off and then ran all the way back down the floor. Great hustle by number one in white. Love in the corner, going baseline. Ball knocked away there by Overstreet. Returning for the North, number 32, Justin Nelson. Justin Nelson checks back in as he will supplant Colin Hudson. 59-51, to go. So McLeod will inbound it on the near side. Straight to Nick Ellis. McLeod trying to break free. Ellis uses one dribble and picks it up. Here's Love driving, shooting, and scoring. Oh, nice penetration there by Sancho Love. And Bay College coach Matt Johnson is incensed. The shot got off late. And there, he thought there was a shot clock violation. and I. I'm not going to disagree. Got off a little late there. Ellis with the rebound. Six point. And a, and a bucket. And both coaches, now both coaches are incensed. Because Caleb House heard Matt Johnson 
drop an F-bomb. So Yeah, House I think Coach House wanted a T right there, and he didn't get it on the other coach. So Bay College calls a full timeout. We'll step aside for just a brief moment. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV. Welcome back to Maury Courts, where the emotion of college basketball on a Saturday afternoon is running a little bit hot. Yeah, I mean, Michigan has trailed this entire game, mind you. Cut this lead now down to four, which was a 13-point halftime advantage for the Norths. So they've gotten this close in the first half before the lead stretched back out. We'll see if they can keep going with it, really get back and on top of this. Matt Johnson's still in the ear of one of the officials. It's all stemmed from a late shot in the clock that it appeared that the, the clock had expired as the ball is loose in the middle of the court. Makai McCone picks it up. Oh my, McLeod for three. No, Ellis the rebound. Can't get it. A lot of contact. No call. Overstreet for three. Got it. Big basket for the Norse right there. Men Michigan needs a basket here and a stop. Big bucket there. Here's Ellis from the free throw line. His shot off. Kemp the rebound. 62-55, just over 13 minutes to go. And a shot and a foul and a bucket. Justin Nelson with a deuce. He'll go to the free throw line. We're going to get Delon McLeod on the foul. So this, so that will send. Nelson to the free throw line, he makes it. He is also 54% free throw shooter, averaging two points per game, and he's already well above that average, actually double above that average with five points. McLeod, nice long pass to Watts. Watts trapped on the baseline, can't do anything. He's got Ellis, Ellis cutting through, almost too strong for Watts. Watts, his three, no good. Jamel Lewis the rebound, shots off. Another rebound and a bucket for Javel Lewis. Lakers really needed that basket. Good work by Javel down low. 65-57. Eight point Norse advantage. Three ball is off. Ellis the rebound with Nelson at his feet. Here's Ellis, top of the key, works it into Javel and Javel is going to be fouled. You're going to get Genesis Kemp, it looks like. And yes. Foul on number 11, Genesis Kemp. His second. So that's two Eight against Kemp, third. three against the Norse here in the second half. In for the Lakers, zero, Caden Sims. Back in for Bay College, number 23, Lamar Grayson. And number five, Jalen Slamakin. So Watts inbounds it to Ellis. Ellis working, trying to find somebody. Gets it to Watts, who <laughs> kind of mishandled the catch. Here's McCombs, gets it into Javel Lewis. Lewis with a bucket, another one. He's been there all game down on the block. They just gotta start feeding the man. Back down to six points, separating the two teams. And a shot and a bucket there by Lamar Grayson. He has been a walking bucket this afternoon. Devin Watts, his shot blocked by Colin Hudson. Oh, 
And then another bucket by Grayson. And sounds like we're gonna get a timeout for mid-Michigan. And it looks like, looks like it'll be a full timeout. So mid-Michigan trailing Bay College, 69-59, 11-13 to go in the second half. We'll step aside, you're watching Laker Basketball on MAC-TV. MAC-TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services, from in-studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work, broadcasting on Charter Channels 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties. Hello, friends. Welcome back to more records. Austin Chastain alongside Nick Toner here on Mac TV. Nick, in, in the break there, uh, we were talking about the difference in this game, how Bay is kind of keeping mid-Michigan at arm's length. Like we talk about so often, normally it's about mid-Michigan keeping teams at arm's yeah. length. But the difference is defensive stops. Here are the Lakers now, Devin Watts directing traffic. The entire North bench up and chanting defense. Sims cutting, finds Love. 10 on the ticker. There you go. Jamel Lewis again. You gotta feed the big guy, keep feeding him. It's back down to eight. Mid-Michigan needs a stop. Maybe two, actually ideally two. And Hudson prevents that from happening with a bucket. A oh, one man full court press here. Here's Devin Watts working right side, Javel Lewis. Here's Satchel Love. Now Watts working it, working, trying to find somebody. Find Satch who goes baseline and another bucket for the big man. By the way, 26 points for Javel Lewis as we speak right now. Keep giving him the ball. And a foul by Jaden Sims will send Grayson back to the free throw line. So that's two against Jaden Sims. At the line for the North, number 23, Lamar Grayson, so Lamar Grayson against 78% free throw shooter makes his first. McGillis, Ellis, and McLeod all check in as Watts, McCombs, and Lewis will have a have a breather. And he makes them both. Lamar Grayson still perfect from the free throw line. 17 points for Grayson. Love for three, off. Rebound there to Franklin. Overstreet for three, too strong. Hudson a rebound, back to Overstreet. Back to Grayson, no good. McLeod a rebound. Packed house here at Maury Courts this afternoon, love to see it. Here are the Lakers driving, here's Sims. Driving, shooting and scoring, Jaden Sims. All right defense, let's see some work here. Mid-Michigan, you gotta get a stop here or else Bay College is going to take care of this thing. 
Less than 10 minutes to go, actually less than nine minutes to go. Stolen away by McLeod. There's a defensive stop. See if it can turn into something. Three ball, no good. Put back too strong by, by Love. Long two is good for Justin Nelson. So the turnover turned out to be nothing as it's still a 10 point game. Sims, pull up Jay, got it. Fourteen points for Jaden Sims. Well under his average. Twenty point nine. So Twenty one points. Here are the Norse working around the perimeter. Driving is Franklin. His and he was fouled before the shot. Jaden Sims charged with the foul. That's number three against Jaden. And Satchel Love will head to the bench. Jabelle Lewis to check back in. It's nice to have two guys of 6'7 stature that can just check in and, yeah. check and, and, and supplant one another or play together. It's always nice to have. Nick Ellis and he might as well have three. Exactly. Well, he is 6'7, so that, that works out for, for them. And it looks like it's going to be a turnover, a violation. Five second violation against the Norse here. Sims, open three on the wing. Oh, it just rimmed out. Nice rebound by McGillis and he's fouled. So the foul will go against Genesis Kemp. Here's McGillis to McLeod. McLeod long two, got it. Delon McLeod with another dose. And another bucket, that one by Krieger. Seven minutes to go. Norse up by eight, McLeod's shot no good. He fought through a ton of contact and Kemp with the rebound. Here's Krieger. Over to Kemp. Over to Overstreet. Krieger. Three ball is good by Jacquez Overstreet. And it looks like we're going to get a technical foul against Overstreet. So, so, yeah, it's a, uh, a technical foul against Jaquez Overstreet, his second personal. Yeah, he hit that big three-pointer, and he must have said something, some type of celebration directed at somebody, or he said something inappropriate, so he got teed up for it. Jaden Sims will shoot the free throws, and he misses the first. Jaden Sims is a 78% free throw shooter, average, again, averaging just shy of 21 points per game. And his second is up and good. Up to 15 now for Jaden Sims. Yeah, it looked like he may have turned to the student section there, or to the fans there, which uh, look predominantly Bay College fans. And then I think he may have said something to Caden McGillis on the way down, did, did Overstreet. So that's what led to the technical. And 
it's still a 10 point game. So that's the first technical, I, I was sure we were gonna see a couple at least. Now here's Lewis, going, trying to work baseline, can't do it. McLeod, three ball, book it. Delon McLeod with a big, with a big bucket. 19 for him. No, excuse me, 20 for him. Long rebound, can't make it work. Hudson with a dunk and a foul. Colin Hudson with a slam and a foul. That will go against Javel Lewis. Returning for the Lakers, number five. So Love will supplant Ellis and McCombs will supplant McGillis. Try to say that three times fast. <laughs> it's a lot of McCombs, McKay's, McLeod's. <laughs> Hudson makes the free throw to complete the three point play. And again, restore the 10 point lead. 83-73, just under six minutes to go. Mid-Michigan has got to hit the gas pedal here. McLeod can do that, and he, his shot doesn't, doesn't go. He fought through a ton of contact. The Mid-Michigan bench is incensed once again. And the shot there is no good by Justin Nelson. Great defense there by Satchel Love. He's got the ball now, trying to work it inside. He does to Lewis, and he's got another bucket. Javel Lewis. I don't know why they don't keep going to Javel. He's had it every single time. You get it to him on the block, he turns it into the two points. Exactly. 30 second timeout by Mid Michigan. Here with 519 to go, trailing by eight. If you're the Lakers here, you gotta start winning the next minute. And then after that minute's up, you gotta win that minute. You gotta break this game down. 28 for Javel Lewis. But you're absolutely right where mid needs to, I mean, it, it's eight points. It, it, we've seen him be able to do, to close a, a gap like that. It's just a matter, you have to get a defensive stop. I would think you have to get two. You have to you get two. You gotta string them together a couple of different times. You have to get two Not consecutive, two, you have to get two consecutive defensive stops here, at yeah. least to, make this thing close and really give. Yeah. Two out of every three trips for the Norse have to end up in stops if you're gonna come back into this game. Cannot trade buckets here. He's over street. Hudson for three, got it. <laughs> Colin Hudson, his second three pointer. Cloud to Lewis, to Sims. Sims is hit there by Tyrell Krieger. Number 14, Tyrell Krieger, his second, team six. 19 points for Colin Hudson at this point, wearing 20. For 17 for Lamar Grayson. Doing a little bit of a game reset. 14 for Jaquez Overstreet. And now here's Makai McCombs after the inbound. To Lewis, back to McCombs. McCombs driving, finds Lewis, finds Satch. When he's fouled! It was a very late whistle there, but Satchel Love will go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. So Colin Hudson, who it just mentioned is having a big game, just got called for the foul. Satch's first, re first free throw is off. 62% free throw shooter and averaging just shy of 12 points per game. Satch makes the second. Still 10 points, four and a half minutes to go. Need to start getting some, some defense here from mid. Don't panic. Here's Hudson, fakes out Love. 
Puts up a shot, no good. Nice, strong rebound from Javel Lewis. And a long pass, Sims picks it up. Sims' shot is, is true. Smooth. Slim is smooth, as you could say. His nickname is Slim. Down to eight, four minutes to go. Need another, need another one. Not that, as that's a dunk for Justin Nelson to get the Bay College fans and the bench excited. And a layup, no good by McLeod. Three and a half to go, 10 points separate these two teams. And there'll be a foul. This one's gonna go against Satchel Love. Like a foul on number five, Satchel Love. His third, team picks. So that will send Colin Hudson to the free throw line. Hudson's first shot is good. He'll have another attempt. 71% free throw shooter. Up and good. Colin Hudson out of the hometown Escanaba. Love driving, waiting, getting the extra step and he they'll say he traveled. We're gonna get a timeout by the Lakers. And it looks like this will be a full timeout. 3.05 to go, 90-78. Bay College has the lead over mid. We'll step aside. You're watching Laker Basketball, Mac TV. Mac TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services, from in-studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work, broadcasting on Charter Channel 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties. Hello and welcome back. We are set to inbound it is Bay College uh, with just over three minutes to go. Now at the three minute mark, ball bouncing around. And now the North is going to settle it down here with 15 on the shot clock. Here's Kriegel working on Jaden Sims. Less than 10 on the shot clock. Kriegel the shot. Short, no good. McLeod the rebound. Here's Jaden Sims. Sims going to the rack. Can't get it to go. Too strong on the lip. Satchel Love the rebound. And a really tough bucket for Satchel Love. Gonna have a foul against Satchel Love, his fourth. So Nick Ellis will check in for Love as he heads to the bench with four fouls. Just a reminder of some upcoming broadcasts. We won't be on the air again until February 18th 
That's a long time. Two weeks from today at Mount Pleasant High School. So we'll lay that out again. But the Norse get a shot away. Loose ball still. Genesis Kemp had it. And he was fouled. Was he? Well, he was, he was, wow. He was fouled there. So Jaden Sims now with four fouls. And that's seven against the Lakers. So Genesis Kemp will head to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. Genesis Kemp shooting 76% from the free throw line, averaging 10 points per game. Misses the front end, rebound still loose. McLeod sweeping in from the wing, collects the rebound. Here's Sims, less than two minutes to go. Gotta start making some stuff happen and that's gonna be a turnover against the Lakers. Both teams 6-0 here in conference play, battling for first place. And effectively a, a four-game lead. Well, they'd only have a one-game lead over whoever loses here tonight. Well, a, a, a four-game lead over third, uh, yeah. McCombs with the steal. Shot no good. Sims tried to get the rebound, couldn't get it. Ball's on the floor again. It's knocked away and there will be a foul call. Looks like it's gonna go against Nick Ellis. It'll be against. It will be against Nick Ellis. That's eight against the Lakers. Well, one more time, uh, we're at Mount Pleasant High School. That's what we've been told as, as of for, as of now for the next home game instead of here at Maury Courts. As there's a, seems to be some moisture on the floor. But one more time, February 18th against Kirtland will be at Mount Pleasant High School, not at Maury Courts. Still finalizing the season finale. Then a week after that will be the 25th. The shot is up and good for Justin Nelson. Now two of two from the free throw line. He's got 10 points. Three for 11 points. And his team up by 12. Three ball for McLeod. Off. Sims the rebound. Sims driving. He shoots. And he doesn't get the, doesn't get the bucket, but Javel Lewis... It's a flying rebound and he'll be fouled. Javel Lewis looking like he has some discomfort in that right hand. No, he came down on that right elbow pretty hard, so. The foul there against Justin Nelson, that's four against him. Here's Javel Lewis. Shooting and uh, cashing that first free throw. Now up to 29, can he get it to 30? He does. So 30 points for Javel Lewis. Caleb House calls another timeout. And it looks like it'll be of the full variety, so we'll step aside. The Lakers down by 10, 119 to go. We'll have the remaining 119 for you on the other side. You're watching Laker Basketball on Mac TV.
Welcome back, 119 to go. Thanks for joining us here on Mac TV. Austin Chastain with Nick Toner. Here's the Norse inbound it through the full court pressure and cut through it pretty easily. And there's going to be a foul here. Charge to Makai McCombs, his first. That's nine against the Lakers. And that will send Lamar Grayson to the free throw line. He makes the first, that's 18 now for Lamar Grayson. And he misses that one, that's his first miss from the line. He's five of six from the free throw line today. Sims for three, short, that one. Out of bounds, and we'll stay down here with Mid-Michigan. Back in for the North, number 32, Justin Nelson. Along with number five, Jalen Flanagan. Ball comes out to McCombs. It was mishandled. McCombs for a long three, short. Rebound, and we're going to get a tie-up, and we'll stay down here with mid. 50 seconds. Need a Herculean effort here, does mid-Michigan. With McLeod inbounding underneath the basket. Gets it in to Lewis, and he'll be fouled, and he'll shoot at least one. Foul will go against Colin Hudson. Big college foul on number 20, Colin Hudson. His third. So it's two shots for Javel Lewis. At the line for the Lakers, number 21, Javel Lewis. And the first one is up and good. Returning for the North, number one, Jacquez Overstreet. Up and good, the second is for Javel Lewis. He's got 32 points on the afternoon. And the Norse cut through that press once again, and Hudson will be fouled once again. That'll go against Javel Lewis, his third, and that will create the penalty for the Norse. Uh, no, it won't. Yes, it will. So he misses the first, and he will have another attempt at it. So they put the clock back to 44 seconds. And the second one is good after some confusion with both the clock and the, I guess the foul situation. Mid-Michigan down by 10, less than 40 seconds left. A shot up and no good by McLeod. And he'll be, he'll commit a foul to send Justin Nelson to the free throw line to shoot a pair. I think we're starting to see the writing on the wall. This will be, if this result holds, be the first loss in a month for Mid-Michigan since that 106-96 overtime loss against Jackson. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. Coach House is going to 
watched this film a few times, I'm sure. First one is up and no good for Justin Nelson. Let's see if he puts us on mute or not. <laughs> and the second is no good. A pair of misses. Well, like I mentioned, they've trailed wire to a wire to a team that's pretty much their equal in my opinion. It doesn't look. McCombs, too strong. And we're gonna get another foul. This one looks like it might be charged to, yep, it will be charged to Delon McLeod. That's three against him. And Lamar Grayson, who appeared to maybe get a shot in the eye there, will head to the free throw line to shoot a pair. 19 seconds left. See if he makes these, he makes the first. Nineteen points. Make it twenty. Returning for the north number one, Overstreet. Overstreet checks back in. Nineteen seconds left. Mid Michigan pushing the pace once again, down by twelve. Get it in, Nick Ellis, with a bucket. Nice find there by McLeod. No fouls. This one is over. Bay College storms into Maury Courts and picks up a win over the Mid-Michigan College Lakers, 96 to 86, and hands Mid-Michigan its first loss in a month. Yeah, tough one here for the Lakers. They trailed the whole time, as we've mentioned a few times. Just really every time they would do something really excited and you're like, yeah, they're back in this. You're like, oh, they just cut it just back to 10, that's it. They cut it, they did get it to four a couple of times here in the second half, unable to really truly get over that hump to really put some pressure on the Norse. So Mid-Michigan's eight game winning streak comes to a close and Bay College will carry an eight game winning streak of its own into Wednesday's game at North Central Michigan. Meanwhile, again, Mid-Michigan will play at Grand Rapids in Gordon Hunsberger Arena at the Ford Fieldhouse, downtown Grand Rapids. That's on Wednesday night. We'll step aside for just a couple of brief moments. Hope to have Coach Caleb House with us here on the postgame show. We'll stand by. We'll be back here on Mac TV. Mac TV Network is a local public access station that offers a variety of services, from in-studio interviews, wrestling, and so much more. We cover local concerts, sporting events, and activities around the community. Members of the community can come in and take a free workshop to learn anything from editing to camera work, broadcasting on Charter Channel 187 and 191, serving Gratiot, Isabella, and Clare Counties.
Hello, my name is Judy. Amy. Jillian. Amy. It's Dawn. Recently, we joined friends, family, students, community members, and fellow MID employees to engage in a lifelong learning class. Our topic of choice was American Sign Language. MID offers a wide variety of lifelong learning classes, including dog training, arts and crafts, photography and outdoors, financial planning, and many, many more. We hope to see you in class soon. Want to find more information? Check our website, www.midmish.edu. Thank, Thank you. you.
Hello and welcome back to Maury Courts Recreation Center here in Mount Pleasant. The Mid-Michigan Laker men's basketball postgame show here on MAC TV. I'm Austin Chastain with men's head coach Caleb House after a 96-86 loss to Bay College. Uh, just your overall thoughts and observations in the, on this one. Yeah, you know, it hurts because we've been on a streak and haven't felt this in a little while. And, uh, you know, we got to own up to the fact that um, – we got beat by the better team today, to be honest with you. Uh, they controlled the game from start to finish. They had us down at half. We made some runs. I'm really proud of that. Um, but, you know, we've got we've to find a way to – it's been a while since we've been in that kind of a fight with that kind of uh, – with those kind of athletes, with those kind of players. And I didn't think uh, we handled it great early. Uh, I know we outscored them in the second half, 52 points in the second half. Like, it's a lot of points, but we gave up 49, you know, and – giving up 96 for the game I just initially those are my my thoughts uh, I feel like we're a more of a grinded out tougher defensive team and maybe we got away from that a little bit because of our offensive firepower and I think we've got to find that again uh, and one example of your offensive firepower is Javel, uh 32 points and and Delon with 20 but just that that action that those two have um you know, obviously combining for 52 points is big. I mean, obviously, in, in the individual effort, you know, doesn't come out. But ultimately, it's it's nice to have that, that kind of action, isn't it? Yeah, no, it, they're uh, they're great players. Um, we, we found a couple things that were working, and obviously, Javel's always working, seems like. <laughs> and, and But that action that we were trying to run against their coverages, I thought, worked well enough for us to be able to win. But... We didn't get stops, you know. We didn't get key stops. We didn't get key loose balls. Uh, I think we're down five or seven. And the balls bounce around out in the front. We take off running, and the ball ends up in their hands, and they score. And now it's nine or ten, eleven. Um, we got an open look over here, and you know, we made some good shots, but we had some shots we missed that I think we usually make, and maybe it was just the overall pressure and fight of the game. But we missed that one. It could have cut it to two, and they go down and hit one in the corner, and it's eight. So just a lot of those kind of moments, we never were able to break through, and uh, you know, it's just gonna—it just creates a little bit more of an uphill battle going forward, and we're up for the challenge. Right. Well, that—that that challenge um, is that kind of the message to the guys is to to lay down that challenge of, you know, kind of jump up the the. I don't want to say the effort because it looked like there was a good effort out there, but. Just to that one yeah. last little bit to go get those yeah. balls and stuff yeah. like that. And we so <clears throat> last year um, we lost a lot of close games, and we talked a lot about the team finally started to learn. I think as the year went on, and we won some games where winning plays down the stretch, we like learned how important they are. We haven't been in a situation, and I don't think we handled it very well tonight, where we had to make winning plays. We couldn't um, have two or three plays that we didn't make that we could have made. It, it hurt us too much tonight. The, the, the consequence was too great against a good team. So they came in, some guys, I mean, their leading score was averaging 5.5 5 points per game. He has 22 tonight. You know, so, you know, that their, their second leading, their leading score still got 19. So it's not like, you know, it was just all guys that um, stepped up out of nowhere. But, you know, uh, kid hit four threes tonight. He's shooting, um, he was five for 25 coming in today in the conference. And he's four for seven here. So. They made some plays. They wanted us. Um, it's, it's there's a mutual respect, but there's some mutual rivalry, and you could probably pick up on that some of it too. So, right, and you'll see Bay College again. Uh, well, the Lakers will on on February the 28th, the season finale up in Escanaba. Again, a Conven four and a half hour trip. Conveniently on a Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting um, how that worked out. <laughs> right, um, Grand Rapids next on the docket. Uh, how how do you rally the troops for Wednesday mm -hmm. at Grand Rapids? A tough place to play, a pretty good basketball team, a, but a team that you guys beat pretty well mm -hmm. um, here yeah. just a couple weeks ago. So, you know, losses make teams better usually. College, basketball is different than a lot of other sports where losses, you know, and so we've got to make sure that we, we do that coming out. And that's what we said, like, everybody's got a target on our back. Every game, you know, if we want to beat a team by 30 the first time, there's a target on our back. There's a fight coming at us that's going to be different than last time. We're not going to roll over for us. So we just we just talked about the importance of every single game as its own individual game, not what it was the first time, not what it was, and then just um, making it through these three weeks with an absolute fierce competitive mindset. So that's what we're going to try to uh, instill in the guys, and I think they'll step up because it's going to take some maturity to do that. And 
I thought, I thought even tonight when we didn't make a couple of those plays, our maturity was still pretty good and, and was there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not discouraged, you know, so. Right, absolutely. Um, but yeah, plenty of fight left in, in the Lakers. One loss, you know, one loss doesn't determine it. I totally understand that. Uh, like we said, Wednesday next on the docket for the Lakers and then February the 18th against Kirtland. Your soft spot, maybe a little soft spot in your heart. Uh, again, that's going to be at Mount Pleasant High School, not at Maury Courts. Just to, we laid it out during the broadcast. Yes, there's also, there is a little bit of a change, though, for that game on the 25th. It's a good time to probably let everybody know that. Um, through uh, some advocacy and some commitment from the facility at Maury, we really appreciate their teamwork with us. They're going to allow us to have our sophomore night here. We're going to be able to play the 25th back here, uh, which is going to be really special for our players. So uh, we're excited about that. 4 and 6 p.m., a little different start time through the facility. Has some stuff going on, but we're very, very thankful to be 18th at Mount Pleasant and then 25th back here for our last two home games. Well, there you go. Some breaking news from uh, from Mr. Coach Caleb House. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, yeah, February the 25th will be back here at Maury Courts, but, again, the 18th at Mount Pleasant High School. Um, Caleb, any, any last final thoughts? No, I'm just uh, I'm anxious to see how we respond to the challenge and to um, the result of today's game. So thanks, everybody, for the support. We had a great crowd today. Uh, I would imagine we had a pretty good crowd tuning in, and I appreciate everybody for that. Well, absolutely. And for those of you that tuned in on, on Mac TV, thank, thank you for tuning in. Thanks, for Caleb, for stopping by. I want to say a quick thank you for Amelia over on our camera. She did a great job uh, following along with the action. Mr. Engineer Nick Toner, thank you very much for putting everything together, being the chief mastermind behind the whole operation. I'm Austin Chastain, and we will see you again in two weeks when we meet again. Have a great night, everybody.